this in the Discord because I'm live an hour earlier than I was meant to be. Hang on. All right, I posted an announcement. <laughs> um, anyway, hi everybody, welcome back. We're gonna play Sims Medieval now. I need to open my game actually. And then we can play. All right, perhaps, let me just get this link for them. Okay, hello. Can you hear that? <laughs> yes. Oh, hello. Okay, <laughs> my cat has arrived. Hi, Snap. Okay. <laughs> you jumped up. You want to sit on my lap? That's fine. <laughs> she appeared out of nowhere. Well, let me make sure my game is capturing the Sims Medieval. The Sims Medieval Pirates and Nobles. Wait. Here we go. This is the good stuff. Anyway, we're gonna play Sims Medieval today. <laughs> um, I went live a little bit early because I wanted to play. I felt like, you know, sending some Sims to the Pit Beast and whatnot, so... Here we are. Oh, and also because I'm gonna have to get off early because today's my dad's birthday and I'm going to my parents' house for dinner. And I, I anticipate the getting off stream at 7 p.m. might be too late. <laughs> so I'm, I might have to get off stream a little bit early. So I'm live now. Gaming. Me and my cat are here together. But anyway, that's the plan. <laughs> that is the plan. Uh, if you haven't seen Sims Medieval, I think you're really gonna like this. Like, I, I really think this is gonna make your day. So. Just welcome. Okay, I need to also, I didn't change the bot commands. Let me do that really fast too, uh, while we wait for people to come in. And then we should be good to go, I think. Snappy, are you gonna play with us? Are you gonna play Sims Medieval? Um, we're playing a hilarious Sims spin-off game called Sims Medieval. Yes, it's an official one. And yes, you can buy it on Origin. Watch out for the pit beast. Okay, anyway, hi everybody. Sorry, I was fixing the bot command. <laughs> uh, now we can play! Very exciting. Also, my cat is here. Hang on. See? Proof. <laughs> the title made you nervous? Well, why? I simply cannot see how that could possibly be possible. What about a pit beast is scary? Nothing. <laughs> Julia, Cat Lady, Cheese, and Addison, thank you all for the recepts, by the way. Snappy. 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 You're totally blocking my keyboard. That's fine. I don't mind. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Addison, Bumblebee, and Joey, thank you all for the subs. How am I today? I'm good, Bumblebee. So tonight, I'm going to my parents' house for dinner because um, it's my dad's birthday. Oh my god, she's being really cute right now. Oh my gosh. Hi, Snap. Um, it's my dad's birthday. So I made shepherd's pie earlier, and I'm gonna bring it over there. So I spent today doing some cooking before I went live, and then The Sims was like, surprise, dropping a kit, and then I had to stop cooking to make a video. <laughs> The title says failing at Fall Guys for you on mobile. Oh no, I bet if you like close the app and reopen it, it will fix it. That was like streams ago. That was from Saturday. That's so weird. I wonder why it's like glitching like that. Because of all the things to to glitch to, like you would think that maybe, maybe it would have like yesterday's title or something on still. But why would it have the title from like the second half of the stream on Saturday? Why would it glitch to that one of all the streams? Like, I've streamed twice since then. This is the third stream since then. <laughs> Come in, Snowy and Storms and Button and Maddie and Leah. Thank you all for the subs. That is very weird. Either way, we're gonna play um, with some Sims Medieval today. My cat just got off my desk, so at least I can access my keyboard. Oh, and today's your daughter's first birthday. Lenny, that's really exciting. No, Miranda, I didn't get a new mic. Does it sound different? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Okay, well, I think I might give people a chance to come into the stream a little bit and then we'll, um, we'll get started. So, Snowy, that's the thing. I don't know if I'm gonna stream until 7. I might stream until like 6.15, 6.30. That's part of why I went live early because, um, I mentioned earlier, but it's my dad's birthday and I, I anticipate that if I get off stream at 7, it will be a little bit too late to go over there for dinner. <laughs> like, I need to leave a little bit sooner than 7 to get over there for dinner, I think. <laughs> I, I think that's the plan, right? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it's my dad's birthday, so. <laughs> Problems, plans have changed a little bit. Um, yeah, I did. May I posted a video like literally 10 minutes ago. Uh, I just posted one about the, the carnival pack. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it looks like it's gonna be pretty good. And I like that they're collabing with people. I think that it's, I don't know. I, I've i enjoyed them doing that with the past few kits, like the way they've collabed with um, some designers and now the drag queen. Like it's kind of cool to see them collabing with people for these kits. Um, I think that it makes the kits better. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. I think that's a, a cool concept. So I'm glad they're, I hope they keep doing that with the future kits too, you know? It just seems like a really good method. <laughs> it seems like a, a win for everybody, I don't know. Um, but anyway, <laughs> you just joined Twitch and you're ready for me to go live? Well, here I am. <laughs> Trista and Gunna and Lost, thank you all for the resubs too. Just got Get to Work and you like it? Oh, that's good, I'm glad. Get to Work is a fun one. It's your brother's birthday today? Nice, Moose! He's got the same birthday as my dad. You know, I saw Deli posted um, on her Instagram story that, I guess, well, she posted it, like, last night. Um, but it was her dad's birthday yesterday. <laughs> um, and it's my dad's birthday today, but she's in Australia, so I think our dads have the same birthday. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's kind of funny. Getting the notice of feeding my enemies to a pit during my <laughs> English class wasn't how I imagined the notice would look. What, does it not, is it not surprising? Or is it not um, what you expected? I mean, what do, what else, what do you do in English class? You don't feed Sims to pit beasts. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Zebra, thank you for the fans. Sailor and and JD, thank you for the subs too. Sailor with the twelve months. Chipmunk with the four months. Snarty with the sub gifts. Kellen with the tier two. Twenty nine months. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway. I don't- we don't know which one we're gonna do yet. We have to pick what we want to do. <sighs> Bric-a-brac day. The monarch of Simsyville had a sudden urge for a new holiday. And just like that, Bric-a-brac day was born. It was a grand scavenger hunt to be held annually. And the first contest was set to begin that very day. All would be invited to, invited to join the hunt across the kingdom. Who would be crowned the best seeker on Bric-a-brac day? Peasant revolt. <laughs> the peasants were revolting, but Lady Mildred the Great knew that already. When didn't the peasants have something to complain about? What she really needed was for someone to make their complaints go away, one way or another. <laughs> I think I might do that one first, at least. I, I think that would be very exciting for me. <laughs> Oh, Bex, I'm sorry. It's been raining here all day, too. It's been raining, like, all day, all day. Look at this. For the next few hours, 100% chance of rain. 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 Then at 8 p.m., it goes to 90% chance of rain. Oh, boy. Anyway, it, it's pretty consistently, um, unpleasant. <laughs> the weather all day has been rainy. Yes, we are gonna try and marry Frogo today. That's my plan. Um, at least I think so. You think it's gonna rain? You know, Tori, I'm getting the, the feeling that it might rain later, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I think that it, it's probably gonna rain. So the quest to get married? Yeah, but we need to, we need to keep um, interacting with my future husband. Hmm. I probably shouldn't suppress the present- the peasant revolt, should I? I probably should be nicer to them and not use force. <laughs> I feel like maybe- Oh, I can't even suppress them. 
Oh, it doesn't even count as a valid approach. Never mind, it won't let me. This sucks. <laughs> Brooklyn, we're playing The Sims Medieval today. You'll see. You'll soon see. I think you will really enjoy this. You may have not seen it before, but this is an official Sim spinoff uh, that came out in like 2011. But it's like a quest game um, and a Sims game. And it's like medieval times set and you can like be the queen and you can send your enemies to a pit monster and they get eaten alive and it's really wonderful. Um, you can also like throw tomatoes at people. Uh, you can die sword fighting. I'm dead serious. This is amazing. I know, I know it looks a little bit weird, and I know that you're like all Sims 4 players, and you're like, mm, this is weird, and I don't want to play the Pots family. Seriously, give it a chance. I think you will like this. I'm serious. <laughs> uh, Mini and Sabra, thank you for the subs. Um, <laughs> how are you supposed to play in medieval times if you can't suppress the peasants? Whatever. Whatever. Select a primary hero. A good song can soften any heart, or everyone has a price? Hmm, maybe I'll be the shopkeeper. I haven't played with him yet. Should we do that? No, there's not jousting. I know, it's really upsetting. I don't know why they didn't do jousting in this game. What is the point of the game if not for jousting? Anyway, I'll let you guys pick. Should I be the bard or the shop or for the or the merchant? You pick. <laughs> Maya, thank you for the two gifted subs. Oh, and horny for bees. Thank you for the seven months. <laughs> they say, so happy I finished the VOD yesterday. <laughs> they remember how much I love this game. <laughs> okay, it sounds like most people actually want to be the bard. Okay, I'm like everybody is saying bard. That's fine. We'll be the bard. That's fine. So we begin. Oh, look at me! Oh my god. It's not even playing anything. Oh my god, look at me! Wow. Odd that you're all dancing like this with no music. I feel really uncomfortable right now. <laughs> I feel really uncomfortable right now. The silence is so loud. Okay, okay, okay. What do I need to do? I need to ask the monarch about peasant problems. I could probably do that in the morning though. So my bard here is solitary, a whale ate her parents, and puny. So, for example, my sim gets drunk faster, loses fights more often, <laughs> gets sore more often, is obsessed with whales, um, likes to be alone. <laughs> it is just like Life is Strange. There's a section in uh, Life is Strange True Colors where if you're playing on streamer mode, like, there's this part where there are, like, um, like playing air guitar and dancing around basically, but there's music playing on like the record player. But if you're playing on streamer mode, it doesn't play any copywritten music. <laughs> and so it's just silent. And all you hear is like them like breathing and doing this and like their feet stomping on the ground. It's so weird. And it goes on for like two minutes. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Later no, thank you for the 34 month resub, by the way. I forgot about that. Oh my God. We've known each other too long at this point. <laughs> also, uh, Eight and Lim and Photox and Quok, thank you all for the resubs too. Okay, well anyway, who's that? Uh, this is my bestie, Barman Jeffrey, apparently. We're literally best friends. Um, I don't need to do anything tonight, but I probably shouldn't go talk to the queen at like midnight, so... Maybe I'll play a little bit, you know? I can't believe this game even has platforms. Look at that! Aren't you impressed? Oh, here we go! Look at him! I do think you two are dancing a little bit fast for the song. It's making me a little bit uncomfortable, I won't lie to you. <laughs> But, you know, that's okay. Oh my god, look at this! Farman Jeffrey's even cleaning the floor? 
You can't even do that in The Sims 4! On your back hurts? Wow! No, I'm actually really impressed by that. I'm not even kidding. I'm really impressed by that. Look at him! He's using a bucket and a sponge! <laughs> Shark, thank you for the 19 months. Okay! Oh, here we go. I'm sorry. Well, I need to have my sim go to bed, I think. <laughs> well, are you hungry or anything? A little. Where's the food? Maybe I'll get some. And then we'll go to sleep. I'm trying to, like, kill some time, because she's gonna wake up, like, so early. No, don't clean up! Stop, 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 stop! Eat gruel. I know it's 2 a.m. It's just, she's not even tired, so. Okay. Sleep. That one spot on the floor is gonna be really clean. Look at him! Now he's, now he's, like, sweeping it and everything. You probably should sweep before you mop. Before you get on your hands and knees to mop the floor, I feel like it might be a good idea to sweep the floor. <laughs> but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Just an idea. Okay, I'm gonna go ask the queen about peasant problems. Let's go. Oh, wait, no, discover whatever that is. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Sorry, besties. False alarm. Let's just go to the queen. And we run. This is the only Sims game that matters. It's true. Okay, the peasants are revolting again. Resolve it and I'll reward you well. And Alexandria, keep it civil. I don't want the streets to run crimson with blood this time? <gasps> okay, first of all, my headphones are tangled. Second of all, what did you do, Mildred? My God. <laughs> okay. Lady Mildred the Great has ordered me to resolve the peasant uprising. I should first find out where they are. Okay, let's go check the town square. I'll find out if they're in there, causing problems. We love a queen that doesn't want the peasants to die a brutal death. <laughs> yeah, The Sims Medieval has like a- it ha- well, is it an expansion or is it like a deluxe version? Either way, there's like extra content that's like pirates and nobles or something. Um, yeah, I went live a little bit early, um, for no reason. I just felt like it, to be honest with you. Sorry for the lack of warning. I just was like, you know what? I'm ready to send some people to the pit. <laughs> so Jay, you can play with lots of different people in this game. There's like lots of different quests and you like keep unlocking new like leaders or whatever. Um, so you can play as the queen, like right now I'm the bard. You can play as like the blood letter. Um, but there's loads of different, that's Frogo! Frogo, sorry. That's- I'm gonna marry him. Anyway, so I was like mainly playing as the queen, but you have like occasional quests where you play as other people. And right now I'm the bard. I'm helping the queen, because I have to stop the peasant uprising. So. Oh, I'm thinking about being puny. Do you know what? She's kind of pretty. I kind of like her. She seems nice. I could speed this up, but I kind of want to watch her walk there, I won't lie. Something about it's kind of funny to me. <laughs> no, I'll go. I'll run. I'll run. Alright, first let's try to see who's part of this rebellion. I'll ask a few questions, but be subtle about it. Mm. Make a wish? <gasps> Make a big wish. I love a wishing well. 12 buckets of water, 17 hours until refill. Do you think I could die from this? Eh, probably not. My wish was not granted. Okay. Discuss state of kingdom with three dissidents. Oh, look how cute the little town square is. I'm gonna come just, I'm gonna get to know them first. I'm trying to be like friendly, you know? And then I'll be like, hey, how about the state of the kingdom? <laughs> That's totally not surprising. <laughs> what do you think? I don't think that worked. Why isn't this working? I'm pretty sick of the way things are being run I am. Sorry, 
what's your name? Karen? Yeah, I'm sh I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Her name's Rochella! <laughs> I was trying to watch a little slimy video. I know, I'm sorry. I posted a video and went live at the same time. I'm tired of working so hard for so little. Okay, Bessie, that's fine. I accept that complaint. That's fine. You might be right. <laughs> you might be onto something. <laughs> Some of us have had enough of Lady Mildred the Great who elected her queen anyway. Me. I did. It was me. <sighs> okay. How should we try and find the peasant leader? The simple peasants should be pretty easy to track. Or I'll befriend one of the peasants and charm the location out of them. I think I might charm the location out of one of them. And I just want to make sure it's clear that this person will be in the pit soon. Okay? <laughs> Jenna Mystical Little Tika, thank you all for the subs. Oh, I should move my face cam down a little bit. Maybe I'll put it down here just so it's a little bit out of the way of the text. No, you don't need to have The Sims 3 to play Sims Medieval, Mari. You can just play The Sims 3 Medieval. You don't need to have anything special or anything. Um, okay, so what do I need to do? Become a friend of a peasant. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> I'll just talk to them. What else do I need to do? Pay my taxes and be inspired by three people? Oh! How much work do you think I need to do? It is on origin, yeah, Lil B. This is on origin. Um, gossip, tell a dramatic story, tell a joke, do impersonation. I just want her to like me. We're gonna be besties. Scallywag Elise is supposedly harboring a secret barbarian child. I'd never bring such a dangerous presence into my home. You can't say stuff like that. The people in this game are really questionable. <laughs> no, but thank you for the tier 2 29 months, by the way. <sighs> maybe I'll share a whale story. I don't know if she'll like that, but may as well try. <gasps> We're friends! You know what? You're not such a bad sort, Alexandria. You should meet my boss, Desiree. <gasps> Is it Desiree the one that I said I wanted to kill? Or are you, wait, you're Desiree. Well, the peasant leader's over there. I'm feeling really quite confused. So is Alvin the leader? Okay, that seems like um, there was a bit of a glitch there. Smithmaster Leah of Craft Hole. Oh, it's just gossip. Anyway, this guy's the leader. This is what we need to know. Find out demands. What do you need from me? Oh, look at the bird. Sunset macaw. Okay. Did one of them just burp in my ear? You don't have to yell. What we want is quite simple. We just want some money to feed and clothe our families. This should be enough money to keep them happy. What, $300? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for this. I'll meet with my fellows and discuss your donation. We'll talk to you in the morning, let you know what we decide. Okay, well, I have to wait until the morning now. I kind of, I'm kind of siding with them. I won't lie to you. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like maybe they're right. <laughs> I know that I'm the queen and whatnot, but you know, maybe, maybe, just maybe, they're right. <laughs> okay, I paid my taxes. I need to be inspired by three people. Ask for inspiration. Does that count as one? Oh, easy! This is kind of exciting. I like this quest. It takes very little effort from me. 
No, you can't really build in this game. Um, you can decorate the inside of buildings, but you can't like build build. What is this? Love theme? Animals and hunting theme? Oh. Interesting. Well, I did my daily tasks. I just have to wait until tomorrow morning. So what should we do now? I think that's just songs that I've like unlocked. Buy from market stall. What do you got? Useful items, perhaps? Maybe I should try and date somebody while I'm here. I don't know. I'm just trying to think like, oh, cute. Look at them. I'll just play a song while I wait. Ooh. I think they just kissed. Cute, they're trying to kill. Okay, you know, maybe you're right about that. Guys, I think I want to date the barman. They're already besties. I could probably have them fall in love. Look, he's friendly and loves families. He's also cursed, but that's fine. Um... So all of us are a little bit cursed sometimes. But we're already so close. <gasps> Wait, it's going really well, actually. <laughs> Fall in love. Fall in love. Serenade? Pronounce undying devotion? Asked to court? Well, we're courting. Ask for hand in marriage? Congratulations, Alexandria and Jeffrey are now betrothed. They can get married in a church if they are members or at any location in the kingdom. <laughs> that was really easy. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is quite the whirlwind medieval romance, yeah. Okay, um, can I buy, like, uh, stop. Can I buy, like, a double bed and then woohoo in it? This is an honest question. Lighting, decor, surfaces, comfort. You can. Can you not change the color of things in this game? I don't even know what these numbers mean. All of this is very confusing. I don't care. I want to woohoo. Have marriage. Oh my god. Kiss passionately. Woohoo. They're not even married yet. On the left side of the screen, you have an option to change colors. Oh, this stuff. Oh, I didn't look up there. Sorry, that's embarrassing. Okay, I fixed it. I want you to woohoo. <laughs> this is a sin. They're not married. <laughs> Scandalous. What are you doing? What do you mean make food? You're wooing. <gasps> Stop, you ruined it. Oh. Fine, fine. I'll make food, but you have to woohoo afterward. You couldn't have waited like two more seconds? Now the mood is ruined. I'm gonna have to start over again. Where did he even go? I think he ran away from me. Oh, there he is. Oh, I can still woohoo, okay. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I got a little bit carried away there. <laughs> Are you ready? This bed looks extremely uncomfortable. But I look extremely resistible. <laughs> Just as I was expecting. <laughs> Wondrous, thank you for the 12 months. Kid, thank you for the dear 11 months. And Plum and Emma and Nova, thank you for the subs. I'm uncomfortable. Oh, look at their little pajamas. That's so cute. Now what should I do? 
Do you think there's a chance of her getting pregnant from this? All they did was woohoo. It didn't have an option for trying for a baby, but do you think that, like, all woohoo is trying for a baby in this game? <laughs> it is. Oh, that's exciting. That is very exciting. Woohoo equals baby. Should I do it again then? Look, he's, he's like always cleaning the house. Maybe I should get married up there. Let's just do it. I'll just have the wedding right now. I'm not even worried about it. Are you doing it? Oh, are we all coming upstairs into the bedroom? Oh my god! Okay! Look, no babies out of wedlock. Okay? <laughs> I like how there's an officiator for the wedding. I like that about this. I wish you could pick that in The Sims 4. I wonder... I wonder if with the wedding pack they'll be able to do that. We were married and given a gift? I think we got some money. Okay. I would like to woohoo, so... I just want to, like... If I can make sure that we can get a baby, that would be great. Kiss passionately. <gasps> Woohoo! Big day? Big day? What happened? What did you say? Oh, two years! Tier 2, 24 months! Shella says, I have been a thorn in your side for two years. Please notice this important date. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, Shella, there was a sim that I met earlier. I, I met her earlier, and she was being kind of rude, but... Um, her name was, like, yours. It was, like, Radshella instead of Rishella, but I met a Sim that was like you, basically. Don't know where she is, but I, you can take my word for it. Radella! Oh, that's not Shella. Sorry, never mind. Made it up. <laughs> Kay and Penguin, thank you for the subs, both of you. You're pretty rad, though. Kids are perfect in this game. You don't control them, but you can send them to go shopping for you, etc. <gasps> really? So I don't even have to take care of them. I can just send them off. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. Is my husband not gonna sleep in bed with me? Oh, look at him filling up some pictures and cleaning. He works so hard. This game is great. Take a pregnancy test. <laughs> You know, for some reason, I feel like that's not an option. Here in the year 1500. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps that's not possible. I wonder why. <laughs> Abby, thank you for the 14 months. I'm going to save my game quickly. <laughs> oh, are you awake? 4 a.m.? What am I supposed to do at 4 a.m.? I don't need to go anywhere until 8. That's when the peasants are going to be done thinking on my request of them. Maybe I'll get a drink from this pitcher. Octavia- Desiree! You're the one I hate! Is now a bad time to spit in her face? She was mean to the queen. I can't have that. Are you gonna spit in her face? Belittle her? Spit in face. Come on. Let's go! Is it cause she's sitting down? Is that why you can't spit in her face? Oops, I did it! I probably shouldn't do this. <gasps> oh my gosh! That was kind of violent. Careful, there's people in here with knives. <laughs> You need to be really careful, Simsy. <laughs> oh, I lost a friend, and there's too many people in here, and I had a bland meal. Okay, so I kind of messed up by doing that. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm just gonna gather some inspo while I wait. I was inspired. Okay. It is now time to find out what the peasants have decided. Wait, why are you still doing that? Stop- no, 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 stop getting inspiration and go talk to the peasants. 
This is important. While we appreciate your initial contribution, Alexandria, we're afraid it is entirely insufficient. We'd like double the amount for a return to work. Hmm. <laughs> should I pay them? Or should I teach them a lesson? I, I'm concerned that it, it's a bad idea to teach them a lesson. No, princess, this is not a mod. This is an official sim spinoff. I think I'll be teaching them a lesson. These insufferable peasants, they're meant to be poor. A good old-fashioned morality play will put them in their place, but how to begin? <laughs> how <laughs> should I begin my play? Darkly. Okay. So, it was a dark and stormy night in Simsyville. Oh, I have to pick the middle. What should happen in the middle of the play? Demons or explosions? Demons. But the peasants didn't know their place, and angry noble spirits rose from their graves. Oh, that doesn't seem like that's gonna help convince them. And transformed into a demon that ate all the unruly peasants? Okay, eat the poor. <laughs> I don't think this was a good idea. I think this was maybe a mistake. <laughs> I don't think this is a good choice. <laughs> and from that day forward, the peasant bone mound served as a reminder to all the peasants to do their work without complaint. Ah! You know, it seems I have sided with the enemy. That will get the message across. Now for the finale. Uh oh. Should I end it with nobility or with the watcher? The watcher is scarier, right? Because that's me. Fear me! The Watcher was furious at the unruly peasants and threatened to destroy any who overstepped their boundaries in the future. Now to write down the whole play. Oh, you want me to write it? That's so cute. Write a play with money and Watcher themes. Well, wait, do I just use that? Simsy, you've changed. <laughs> yeah, that's a, we're writing a play. I don't know if that's the right play spot. Oh. Play title. Love theme, animals and money, art. How do I do it? Do I have to get like money and watcher themes? I need to get them first. Okay, that makes sense. I understand now. So I think we have some work to do. I think we have to be getting inspired by things. Is there like a best way to get money themes and stuff? Or is it just like luck? Because I have animals and hunting theme, magic theme, art theme, love theme. I got a food and drink theme. Let me just talk to these people. War themes are from knights, for example. Yeah, I just got a war theme. I got a love theme. Sure. Gather inspo inside of the church. That's a good idea. Um, cave cemetery. Maybe I could come gather some inspo over here just to see. This is quite exciting. Sky and stars. Love, sky and stars, sport, kingdom and royalty. Oh my god, I've got loads of options, but none of the right ones. <sighs> okay, um, path to village. Maybe I'll gather and spell over here. Maid Linda. No, oh, I can't talk to her. Okay, got food and drink again. That's boring. Love. Food and drink. Love. Sport. Sport. 
I don't actually know where the church is supposed to be, but we can try and find it. I assume we will get the... Mm, that would be the solution. It's right there. <laughs> that will be, I think, an easy way to get the Watcher one. If I simply gather some inspiration in here, it's a bit hard to miss. So, yeah, that's the Watcher theme. Oh my god, it's a bit loud. What else? Did, are you allowed to do that? Is this inappropriate? Okay, wait, I needed the Watcher theme and money themes. Money from the merchants. Yeah, I was talking to merchants, but they weren't giving me any of the good stuff. So, shopkeeper, Chelsea the peasant. Maybe I'll just go inside there. I assume if we just go in, it'll be easier. Love theme. Okay, that's fine. I'm entering the building. I'm entering the building. It won't let me enter the building. Why can't I enter the building? Oh, I got the money one. Okay. I didn't need to. It's fine. Well, now I have all the things that I need so I can go write my play. Let's go. All right, write a play with watcher and money themes. We can wear a commoner costume eaten by the rich. Do I have to pick a third one? Is that like acceptable? Food and drink theme. <laughs> so they want watcher and money and then I can pick the third. Okay, off we go. Just keep writing it. I wrote a play and now I have to perform the play. Eaten by the rich. Recruit an actor to start the play. I have to recruit an actor. Can I get the... Maybe I shouldn't get any of these peasants to do it. Maybe they won't like that. I'll recruit my husband. I have to pay him? That's ridiculous. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's begin. It's a bit loud. Interesting. Whoa! She spit on him! This is so much better than Get Famous. I don't really think the themes are coming across right here. I also don't really think that people are paying enough attention to me and my threats. So. Thank you. We've all learned a valuable lesson. That peasants were not meant to question their betters. We'll return to our labor labors with pride now. With a true, <laughs> with a firm hand, Alexandria swiftly put down the peasant revolt. Lady Mildred the Great was relieved that most of the peasants were unharmed and were able to return to their fields. The town returned to business as usual. Well, <laughs> this, okay, 
Okay, I kind of, I feel like I really picked the wrong side of this. I'm not gonna lie. We did a really good quest. We did a good job. The peasants ceased their rebellion. They returned to work. Should we build anything else? The Judgment Zone, King Ball Court. I don't really want to build that. We already have that. Graveyard, we already have that. You have become the very thing you swore to destroy. <laughs> Wait, are you supposed to place like both of these? The cathedral and the monastery? Buy quarters? Should we buy those? I know they're two different religions. I'm just surprised they're right next to each other. Let's not let's not get this twisted. I know they're supposed to be two different religions. I just was a little bit surprised they were like. Cause I, I would assume that they don't like each other very much. So the fact that they're next to each other is a little bit shocking to me. I'm buying some spies. <laughs> no, bestie, I, w I did not say I was going to play Animal Crossing today. I've been planning to play Sims Medieval today for like a whole week. Like, I've been saying I'm gonna play Sims Medieval today for a long time. Um, you might have had the schedule backwards. You might have read the wrong day. Um, <laughs> there was no point in creating buildings to house and train the military if they were to be completely vulnerable to attack. Thus, thick stone city walls were erected along these structures to defend against the mishmash of rabble-rousers, barbarians, bandits, thieves, and deadly chinchillas. Okay, we have to pick a spy. Wolfric, who is entitled, good, and glutton. Or Amber Jill, who is good, dedicated, and puny. I won't lie, I think Wolfric might be the better one. We've got too many puny people around these parts. The queen's puny. Like, we need to have someone who's not. <laughs> I think glutton is not, like, the most bad weakness. He just gets hungry fast. That's fine. Or we could keep the puny train going. But if she's puny, she can't defend my kingdom. <laughs> also, Samantha in English and Moth and Velvet and Minnie and Jackie in Virginia, thank you all for the subs. Velvet with the gifted subs. Cat, congrats, and Abby and Rochella, thank you all for the resubs too. I think we need to not have any more punies. I think that's important. Okay, let's pick a new quest. Uh oh. A plague? <laughs> Marissa, that is exciting. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, anyway, I think... What does the plague say? A wave of refugees had recently arrived in Simsyville, and with them came troubling reports of a terrible illness sweeping the countryside. As the last line of defense against the threat of a fatal epidemic, the, responsi the responsibility fell to Surgeon Maribel to avert the impending doom. Besties, I think this might be too real. I don't really want to hear about impending doom. <laughs> I think we've had enough of that. <laughs> the incident? Uh, I don't really care about war. Rise of a playwright, crab bandit. I don't know. New information from Simsyville scouts indicate that the conflict between Arbyville and Tradeny has escalated. Emissaries from both territories have requested that Simsyville play host to a summit between the Pirate Tribunal and the Guild Consortium. Lady Mildred and the Great, Lady Mildred the Great, must prepare the kingdom and help to resolve the conflict. It's a bit boring. Crab Bandit. A mysterious rumor was circulating around the town. A beast lurked below the depths of Simsyville. The stories were coming from too many sources to be simple folklore. Folklore? Great album. Was this beast a monster with plans to destroy the town, or was it simply a misunderstood creature looking for a friend? Hmm. 
maybe I'll do the crab one. That's a little bit more calm than like, you know, squashing a rebellion. So maybe I should do that first. <laughs> Quinn, thank you for the eight months. This game is really fun. I really love Sims Medieval. Um, I wish that more people played it still because this game is really fun. Okay, anyway. A powerful ally. There was always room for a new alliance in a growing kingdom, especially an alliance that contributed to the safety of the people. Such partnerships could often be found in the strangest of places. Like a crab. <laughs> okay. And I get to be the queen again, so I can send some people to the pit if I feel like it. All right. I have to go write some letters to inventors. So maybe I'll go do that now before bed. Great innovations in security always came from the humblest beginnings. The Tridonians developed their specialized crossbow technology by studying the looms in their village. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perhaps the next great invention in the field of kingdom security was merely waiting to be found in Simsyville. Okay. Oh, I'm level seven. I'm a great monarch. I did make this sim and she does look like Fiona from Shrek. Yes, she does. Send letters to inventors, okay. I'll do that now. Can I send a personal letter? Oh, lovely. To the king. I just feel like it might be a good thing, you know, get a little bit closer to him. Well, we have to wait for the inventors to arrive. So maybe I'll request a meal, call for food. How did the play go? Oh, it went great. Totally squashed the rebellion. Easy peasy. <laughs> oh yeah, my Shrek is King King Frogo. He he used to be a frog. Um, then I kissed him and he came back to being a human. It was great. Is my food in my room? I wish to have my meal. Oh, the first inventors have arrived. This is unpleasant. I was going to eat. Merchant princess, I don't need you. I need to discuss inventions with inventor Leslie. That's more important. It's a pretzel, right? Hey, everybody. Um, also, Krista, thank you for the sub. What? Getting your letter by pigeon made me so happy. Is there any better way to communicate than p-mail? I think not. <laughs> I feel like the Sims team really has a good time <laughs> when they get to do any sort of text. Now looky here, milady. This here is what, a, what I call a landmine. Any enemy of Simsyville who steps on this is sure to rue the day he challenged your rule. What do you think? This is poo. Thanks for handing me this. I'll get back to you. Rue the day and poo? Huh? I find this game very, very concerning. <laughs> okay, inventor Serafina also perhaps has an invention for me. Let's find out what it is. Oh, I have turnip soup. Yay, finally. The attention I deserve. Okay, now I'll go back downstairs. You want security? I've got security. How would you like to rain destruction down upon Simsyville's enemies from the sky? Sounds too good to be true? Just step aboard my flying machine here and I'll show you true power? What is that? What are you holding? Stop rubbing that in my face! Discuss invention with crazy old Tim. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll, I'll discuss with Tim in the morning. <laughs> I'll, I will discuss with crazy old Tim tomorrow morning. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Cannibal Papperman, what do you- Dan, aren't you streaming? What are you- li stop listening to me rule the day. Your dream started out with you in the tavern, having a beverage. You call- Oh, I've already listened- I've already picked this one, it's boring, I don't want to listen to it. I just want to skip so I can have the morning. Isn't Dan streaming? 
I don't hear him speaking. Oh, maybe he just put his starting soon screen on. <laughs> Leo, Hex, Slytherin, uh, Noob, and Krista, and Tur, thank you all for the subs. Okay. Well, I'd like to call for more food, please. I'll be waiting. <gasps> Yay! What do I got this time? Venison soup. Yikes. Oh, I can hear him speaking now. Alright, I have to talk to crazy old Tim. Let's discuss the inventions. Have you ever heard of the crab bandit? <laughs> okay. Um, no, I haven't. Tell me. I'm not crazy. I am a little crazy, but beneath Simsyville lives a giant half crab, half man monster, the crab bandit. Legend speaks of a time when great kings and queens made alliances with these beasts of yore. Reforge this forgotten alliance and Simsyville will be stronger than ever. You might choose not to believe me because of my severe insanity. Okay, 2011. <laughs> but you'd, be you'd believe Buildmaster Garth, wouldn't you? Bwah he he ha. Okay. <laughs> Discuss nonsense with Buildmaster Garth. Also, Kitty and Josie uh, and Kath, thank you for the subs. My Sims is on Origin, but it's twenty dollars still. Why? Why is My Sims still twenty dollars? Literally, give one good reason as to why My Sims is still twenty dollars. Yeah, this game's age really shows a lot in text. <laughs> Well, we didn't want to say anything, but when we were mining the cave for stone, several of the builders and I thought we saw something in the darkness. Something big with claws. There might be more to this old man's story. Okay, well, I have to search the cave myself? Are you actually kidding me right now? Who do you think I am? I mean, I'll do it, but I won't be happy about it. Oops, not the judgment zone. I'm going to search the cave for the crab bandit. <sighs> Fingers crossed I don't die. Imagine if I did. I can't believe I'm actually inside a cave looking for a crab bandit. I'm as nutty as that inventor of the flying machine. <laughs> Simultaneously, Lady Mildred the Great met the crab bandit and realized that this whole adventure had been a terrible idea. Crab bandit, she screamed and quickly retreated from the cave. Right. <laughs> okay. What in the watcher's name? The crab bandit's real? I must know more. You saw him? It was really him? Did he have his fabled mustache of legend? Oh, Lady Mildred the Great, you must seek counsel with him. If you can grant him the three tokens of gratitude, he will join forces with Simsyville and our safety will be assured. <laughs> Hell three, thank you for the bits. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Search again? You want me to search the cave again for the crab bandit and talk to him? Listen to his three demands, Lady Mildred the Great thought. Does the crab bandit even speak? She carefully approached the crab bandit. Um, hello. I'm here about the, uh, tokens. Gratitude tokens? Something like that? You could have tried a little bit harder to speak a little bit more formally to the crab bandit. If you're gonna befriend Mr. Krabs, you need to take this seriously. <sighs> right, thanks for the eight months. <laughs> The crab bandit gestured toward his clothing, a tattered cloth around his waist, and a sash across his chest. The crab bandit grunted loudly. The crab bandit tapped his walking stick loudly upon the cave floor. Crabs skittered from the back of the cave and looked up expectantly. The crab bandit looked at Lady Mildred the Great knowingly. Finally, the crab bandit lifted his claw to his face, gently stroking his magnificent mustache. A single tear rolled down his crabby cheek, the requests were complete. I feel very confused. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really understand what just happened. 
Okay. What in the world was that supposed to mean? Okay. The cramp bandit seemed pained when he touched his mustache. What actions will Lady Mildred the Great take? A glorious mustache like that clearly needs a mustache wax. That's clearly what the crab bandit wanted. Or he could want a mustachioed sacrifice to appease him and his children. Now, I think there is a really clear answer here, and it's a it's a mustachioed sacrifice. Um, <laughs> next. The crab, the crab bandit made some motion towards the smaller crabs. What action will Lady Mildred the Great take? Could it be that his little crabs are hungry? I could bring them some food. Or maybe he wants me to have one of his crabs to take as my ward. Hope, I can't sacrifice Frogo. He's my husband. My husband, I can't. Okay, no, seriously, do I take a crab or do I feed a crab? This is really important. I feel like it would be really inappropriate to just take his crab. <laughs> but I kind of want to is the thing. Is there a wrong answer? Maybe we need a poll for this one. <laughs> Flamingo says, I have, I have fond memories of not understanding how to play this game as an 11 year old. <laughs> to be honest, sometimes I don't understand this and I'm 22. So. <laughs> Okay, I'll let you all pick. It sounds like most of you want to feed the crabs. 60% says feed the crabs. So I don't think we should take one. I think we'll feed them. Okay, I won't take a crab as my ward. <laughs> wait, wait, the crab bandit clearly gestured to his clothing. What action should Lady Mildred the Great take? I guess he wants a new pair of clothes. Or, maybe he didn't like my choice in perfume? Lady, I think the answer is obvious. He's asking you for more clothes. <sighs> okay, we'll give him some more clothes. So I need to request a landmine shipment from inventor Leslie. First, to butter her up so I can get her clothes. Hang on, I'm sorry. Are we trying to butter up the inventor so I can get the clothing she is wearing? I need to be nice and get landmines out of the inventor so I can steal her clothes and give them to a crab? How, why, is, why is that the choice? You're the queen. Surely you can... <laughs> surely you can get someone else to, to make you some clothes. But no, we're gonna steal the clo- okay, we're gonna steal the clothes from Leslie, right? We'll get a foul soup, and we'll ask crazy old Tim about the mustache. That's fine. That's fine. Gotta find some clothes bi- <gasps> I've gotta find some clothes big enough for the crab bandit. I know, the inventor with the landmines? How could you say that? This game, I'm serious, is too much. No, 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 no. <sighs> what do crabs even eat? I'll have to make enough to fill all those needy claws. Maybe something nice and meaty. And I'll find a man with a mustache fine enough to give to the crab bandit, who I assume will live in a mustachioed glory with the crab bandit for years to come. Oh. Oh, I thought I was gonna, like, kill him. You want me to actually give him to the crab bandit? The crab bandit asked for me? <gasps> You're gonna give Tim to the crab bandit? No, that's not good. This, I feel, I don't like this quest. At least I don't have to kill him. Cause I like Tim. But I thought I could, I could sacrifice somebody. This is a shame. Okay, well I have to go get some landmine shipments from Leslie. This is horrible. <laughs> How am I not killing him? Well, the crab is supposed to be nice, isn't he? I don't think the crab's gonna kill Tim. <laughs> really? You want them? I'll have more made right away. Do you have any other requests, milady? <sighs> I 
I fully took her clothes. I took her clothes. That's not right. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> Gains and flawed and Tessa and trademark claim underscore James C and Santera and everybody. Thank you for the subs and bits. Not even like in privacy, just straight up like in the the great hall. I took them. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I'm choosing to not read that sen sentence. <sighs> and I need to get a foul soup as well. I don't like this. I don't like this. I do not like this. Not one bit. This is not a fun quest. This game is not usually like this. <sighs> I thought we were just gonna be killing Sims with Pit Beast. I didn't know we were gonna be body shaming people today. <sighs> 2011? It's too late for this. Okay, I need to get a fowl so I can make a fowl soup. If I go to the market, do you think I can purchase? Go to the village shop. Yeah, I think it'll be at the market. Or, well, I'm going to the shops, which is at the market, but it's, you know, whatever. Fowl meat. See? I'll buy like four. No! Four of them. Buy items. Okay. Oi. Now I'm scared. As Lady Mildred the Great made her way through the crowded streets, she saw a seedy-looking man calling out to her. The little man gave his pet boar a pat on the head and flashed a toothless grin. He held up some seashells and a pearl. Let's place a bet. Fifty golden symbols says you can't find the pearl. I'll place the bet. Lady Mildred the Great slapped the gold symbols on the gambler's makeshift table. The shells moved too swiftly for me to have a chance, and he took my my money. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Never mind. Fair enough. That's fine. To be honest, she deserves to get scammed because Lady Mildred sucks. She's mean. What am I doing? Alright, let's go back to the castle. I'll cook something up. <sighs> Princess, thank you for the eight months, by the way. And Mini Calvin, happy birthday! Okay. <laughs> um, Nehru, I understand your point, but I still think that this game is being inappropriate. Um I, I don't think that we need to, to make excuses for this game. I, I don't think that what this game is doing is good. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, it feels kind of mean. So I, <laughs> I, I understand what you're trying to say, but I also think that this game is mean. <laughs> so I didn't know that there's dialogue like that in this game. Um, but like, this is inappropriate. It's just not cool. So, all right, I need to make some food. I need to make the soup. And then I will bring it to the to the frog beast, pit beast. Who's the beast? He's not a frog, is it? Oh, it's a crab. Last time I was a frog, this time it's a crab. Okay, don't eat it. We're going to bring it. Potato soup. I have to get... But you said... Okay, I have to go back and buy some potatoes. That's cool, that's cool and fine. <sighs> I will go back and buy some potatoes. It wanted the fowl soup too. It wasn't like, it wasn't like I did the wrong thing. It's just asking for both and it didn't warn me. So. Did they do that? I didn't, I haven't seen that. See, this is my, I haven't played this game that much. Um, so I don't, I, <laughs> I'm not all that familiar with some of these things. Okay, I need a potato. Potato, I'll buy a few of them. Besties, what if I just buy like one of everything? So that if it asks me for anything else, I'll just have it. I'm the queen. 
It's not like that ridiculous what I'm buying. I already have extra foul meat. Maybe I'll do that. If it saves me a trip, it's worth it. Oops. I didn't- I should have read what I just clicked on. <laughs> I didn't read it. We haven't fed anybody to the pit beast yet, but I do intend to- to feed some people to the pit beast later. Honestly, if anyone needs to go, it's Lady Mildred. The woman is not being very nice. Okay. I would like to make potato soup. And Mel and Princess, thank you for the resubs too. Um, okay. Don't, whatever you do, don't eat it. Don't! Put it down! What else do you need? Oh, we're good now? Okay, well, I can go deliver these things to the... Well, maybe I'll just wait until the morning, actually. Maybe I'll request some food, and then I'll... Can't request food because my servant's not at my lot. Okay, that's cool. I'll make myself some extra fowl soup. And we wait. Lady Mildred isn't cruel, is she? I'm scholarly, greedy, and puny, is what I am. So no, I'm not the best, but I'm not cruel. <laughs> Bees and Bats and Lisa and everybody, thank you for the subs. Uh, okay, well. I did shirk my responsibilities, that's true. But I was busy, I had a lot to do. Hurry up. Hurry up. And we wait. And then I will go to the cave. I'm awake. Cave slash cemetery. Deliver food. Am I here yet? Lady Mildred the Great thought about her choices in food preparation. What if they're pescatarians, she thought. Oh well. Those crabs shall eat like kings. Deliver the clothes. I don't like this quest. <laughs> Lady Mildred is the queen. The doctor is a different character. We've played as them both. Um, Lady Mildred the Great bundled up the clothes and left them in the cave. What the crab bandit would really do with them, she would never know. Okay. Is that all? All three quests are complete. I should try and meet with the Crab Bandit one more time to finalize our alliance. Riv, thank you for the 32 months. Um, yeah, the way that they like keep using that wording is really uncomfortable. <laughs> I am not pleased. The request had been fulfilled. It was time for Lady Mildred the Great and the Crab Bandit to finalize the alliance between Simsyville and the underground cat crab kingdom. She carefully approached the crab bandit. Um, hello, she said to the beast. I'm here about the tokens. Gratitude tokens? The crab bandit gave a slight nod towards Lady Mildred the Great. A slight smile tugged at the corners of his crabby mouth. One of the smaller crabs scuttled forward and handed Lady Mildred the Great a magnificent mustache modeled after the crab bandit's own fanciful whiskers. The alliance was secured. Okay. <laughs> this mustache signifies our alliance. I should put it on and bask in the glory of a safer, stronger Simsyville. Wear crab mustache? What does a crab mustache look like? Oh, like a regular mustache. I was hoping it would look like a crab. Me in front of my graves with my crab mustache. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I got it done at a silver level. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, what can we do now? Rise of a playwright, heir to the throne? <gasps> 
Lady Mildred the Great was having a midlife crisis, brought on by the realization that she had no worthy heir to the throne. And no suitable mate. The queen would do whatever was necessary to have the right child. Pumping out the princes? Find a suitor and have a, have a child worthy of the royal throne before age catches you in its mortal grasp? Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Okay, we need a worthy heir. Find a suitor. I already have one in mind. It's King Frogo. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Mildred the Great looked around herself and said, I am unhappy with what I have because I have not a worthy successor to pass it all down to. Mildred vowed on this very day to begin a search for a worthy suitor who could give her the right child. But getting the right child would not be easy. First things first, I shall write a declaration to all citizens so they know I will search among them for a worthy suitor. What, you're writing like an open ad in the paper? Because <laughs> you're looking for a husband? <laughs> oh my god. And what do you mean the right child? You're making me nervous. <sighs> okay. Okay. Can you get off my seat, Royal Advisor Gwyneth? I have to write a, um, a declaration of intent. <laughs> This is medieval Tinder, yeah. I'm writing my Tinder bio right now. Um, and then I need to... <laughs> the declaration reads, Fellow citizens of Simsyville, I, Lady Mildred the Great, hereby declare my intent to choose among you a suitor, one who is fertile and exhibits the qual qualities I desire in my child. Signed, Lady Mildred the Great. P.S. I like tiaras, training dummies, and warm baths. Do you? Okay, let's mail the Declaration of Intent. <laughs> I understand. I like how you think. Excellent, those will go out to every citizen in Simsyville. Now I should clean up if I am, pre <laughs> if I am pre to be presentable on my search for a willing father. Okay. Bathe in a tub. You know what? This is her actually her first time taking a bath, so this might be a good thing. I'm not even kidding. This quest is disgusting. We aren't ready. Oh no. Hunt and kill a great bear? What? Today is different than the last time we played this. There are a lot of different things taking place right now. I don't... <laughs> the last time we played this, it was like, Teehee, I'm collecting leeches from the river. And now this? What do you mean? Oh, Wendy, congrats on your job interview, by the way. That's really exciting. And Danielle, thank you for the 18 months. And Schmitty and Ka, thank you for the subs, too. Okay. Well, I've taken a bath. Oh my god, are all these people my suitors? Besties, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. <laughs> Look at what it's doing. Uh, the game's not liking this either. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat some food. How simply irresistible I'll be. Now I smell of honeysuckle and morning dewdrops. It is time to look for suitors. Well, not before I eat. What do I got today? Venison soup. Okay. Well, I do have a boyfriend. Hunt and kill a great bear. Should I do it? And then I have to pick... What if I can't be Frogo? I have to find him. I can't just... I've come to hunt and kill a great bear. Okay, well, you are not a potential suitor. I'll tell you that much. Okay, I can't even hunt and kill a great bear. Hunt for grow. Oh, I can. Well, I'm hunting and killing a great bear. I can have King Frogo as my suitor. 
Oh, I did. I tracked down a large black forest bear. I'm absolutely horrified by this. I'm not even kidding. Oh, I should save my game. Good call. Zef, thanks for the 36 months. Where do you guys think King Frogo would be? I put a marker on him, but there's so many people, like, I don't... I don't even know where to begin. Do you think he'd be in the castle? I think that's probably the most likely situation. Okay, please be on the lookout for King Frogo. Shane. Shane. Oh, they're both called Shane. Flint, the dashing young falconer. Okay, how about in this room? Guard Tracy, dashing young falconer, town crier. No. I don't... Okay, he looks like that. Do you see him in any of these? Maybe I'll come into the market and see if I can find King Frogo there. Can I invite him over? No, I don't know how. Oh, invite Sim to location. Wait, maybe I can. King Frogo. There we go. I'm busy with something at the moment. I'm the queen. The queen. Trash the pit he goes. <laughs> Quinn, thank you for the 36 months, by the way. Oh no, okay, I think maybe someone- well, I can pick some more while I'm in here. Oh, he's right there! Wait, you weren't there a second ago! Okay, I'm gonna ask him to be one of my suitors. You're my first choice. Ugh! How exciting! I would love to be considered to father your child! Okay, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I like this guy. Oh, and we know Buildmaster Garth pretty well. Maybe Buildmaster Garth could be considered. Or would that, like, make things weird? Maybe I should pick a couple randoms, because I don't want to make things weird with Buildmaster Garth. Brewer Vince. Mm. Okay, well, let's go to the town. Let's see, town square. Where are all those people? Oh, are there some, like, down by the docks, perhaps? I don't understand. <sighs> I don't like the... The screens. Yeah, Brooke, you can be gay in this. Um, you just can't have children with, obviously, like, a woman. But I suppose it is, like, 1500. Um, but this quest is specifically making me find a man, which is kind of annoying. Um, oh my god. Uh, I think this guy is a potential suitor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll be coming over here. <laughs> Can you put down the sword, though? My bestie? Thank you. This is Wolfric, yes. Well. The courting gets pretty weird. I'm concerned now. Someone said I wasn't going to like this one, and now I'm feeling a bit worried. Ask to be potential suitor. I don't want to flirt with him. Oh, I think you'll like me the best? I can show you a good time? I hate 
hate to say it, but for some reason, I feel like King Frogo, look, I know he was like, I'd love to give you a, a baby, but I specifically put out an ad in the paper being like, I want to have a baby. So at least he was on topic, okay? This guy over here talking about having a good time, that feels weirder to me. I might pick this guy next. I already know him, so it's easy. You have done well to consider me, your majesty. I have very pure blood, you know? Ah, you're the worst one! Ugh. No, not that one anymore. Yikes, gross. For some, the guy, literally the guy who said that I'll give you a baby was the best one. That's what our standards are like right here. <sighs> okay. I'm here to write a journal entry about my new boyfriends. Dear journal, I have chosen some very fine men as possible suitors. I've realized I barely know how to proceed. I can't just pick one. How do I figure out who is best? Uh, maybe the one that you're already courting? What values should Lady Mildred the Great look for in a suitor? Jousting! Let's have them duel! <laughs> I've always wanted a funny, friendly mate, or I prefer a strong, aggressive mate. The word mate makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I think I might prefer a strong, aggressive mate. At least for this. Listen, listen. Because she's the queen and she's puny. You see how she's thinking about ants? It's because she's puny. Her trait is that she's puny. She's weak and small. Much like myself. So, perhaps it would be good for her to pick a strong, aggressive person. Because otherwise we're dead. You know? When we don't care about love. Okay? This is purely strategy. <laughs> we don't care if they get along. <laughs> we purely care about strategy. Right? Okay. Brawl with each of your suitors? Ah! No, 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 Tomorrow I can brawl. <laughs> Chris, thanks for the 20 months. Oh, okay, I'm gonna save the game. <laughs> I really, imagine I die doing this. The first time I played Sims Medieval, I literally died within the first like 30 minutes. I made a video on it. It's like not unlikely that I'll die again. Be hugged? Oh my god. It's my lover. Do a shy kiss. Well, we could always brawl right now. Do you wanna? Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes, beat him up! Beat him up! That seemed a tad improper, though I do think I learned a thing or two from you, Lady Mildred the Great. Okay. Well, she said, they may not like me for it, but I must test their physical prowess and inner strength. Such is life. I hope, in a twisted way, that they can hurt me badly? <gasps> the, the wording in this game, the things that it says...
Wait. Hello again. Uh, so the quest Kayla is doing right now, near the end, there's a fertility ritual, and in one of the graphics, I kid you not, there's a butt-naked sim running through the forest with no censorship. So I just wanted to warn you because I don't know if that's Twitch-friendly. I think she should minimize it and see for herself first when she gets to the forest ritual bit. It's not full frontal nudity, obviously, but in my game it was a guy running off and you saw his butt. It was kind of shocking. Our butt's fine. Our butt's okay. Can we do butts? I'm not kidding. Is that is that is that TOS? Does anyone know? <laughs> I think it's fine. Well, I, look, I'm warning you. I guess there's going to be some butts later. <laughs> but I think butts are fine. I think that actually, just in general, in-game nudity is okay on Twitch. As long as it's in the game. I think. Because, like, there's full-on nudity in, um, in, what's it called? The Last of Us. And that's fine. So I think it's okay. Um, especially when it's just a butt. Interesting. Well, I guess we know what we're doing at <laughs> the end. <laughs> anyway, I guess there's gonna be a butt at the end of the quest, so. I guess now we know. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, Peach, for telling us that. That is, um, appreciated. No surprise butts here in this stream. <laughs> oh, this game is really something else. Okay. Well, I guess off to go beat up the rest of my suitors. Um. This will be fun. Oh, I already beat you up. Never mind. Wrong one. Sorry. Off to the next ones. You're my favorite one, though, Frago. I'll be back. <laughs> I decided I wanted to marry him ever since I brought him back from being a frog. Oh my god, if you missed it, last time we streamed this, we did a quest where we had to find a frog in the forest and then kiss him, and then he turned into King Frago. So we, we intend to marry him. That's been the plan for a long time. But now I'm gonna brawl Flint the dashing young falconer. I better win all of these fights. I will be extremely displeased if any of them beat me up. Oh my god, it's like we're dancing! <gasps> I am the queen. Well, if I'm not the best fist fighter around here, I'm close. You've got some moves, Lady Mildred the Great, but I don't think you deserve me? Okay, I'm scared to send him to the pit now in case it breaks my, um... Yeah, I can't send him to the pit yet. This sim is too important to this quest to be killed right now. Well, I'll send you to the pit later, Flint. Oh my god, Sophie, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm adding him to the pit list. Write that one down. The Falconer, better watch out. Okay, this guy fights. So I'm a little bit concerned about this one, I won't lie. Oh my god. You beat me up too? Woo, that was a wild ride, a hog-tying good time, but I still can't believe we had to do that? Mmm, I think it's clear who the- who the winner is. Okay. Become enemies with your suitors! Now the real test. One must break a few eggs if they want to lay an even better egg. 
I need to push my suitors to their limits. Once there, we will truly know each other. The queen is very toxic. Every time we play with the queen, she just keeps on giving. I'm... <laughs> Mildred, what is wrong with you? Frogo's right there. Oh, okay. Are you serious? Declare him an enemy. Well, I'm level 8 Monarch now. Mildred learned that Wolfric is good. <laughs> After I declared him an enemy. <laughs> I'm also a Monarch level 8. So I'm better at fighting now. I don't want to! Do I have to break up with him to do this? I'm serious. Do I have to break up with him to do this? I'm gonna go to clear the other one an enemy first. Because I want to put it off. This game sucks. If you do not now see that I am the one, then you are a fool. Indeed, this has brought us closer together than I could have imagined. What?! Oh, interesting! So Wolfric didn't vibe with it, but Flint did. Oh, Flint liked it! He liked it when I beat him up, and he liked it when I called him my enemy. Oh, they're both toxic! Oh no! <laughs> Demo would believe that you were the resubs. So what if Frogo doesn't like it? Then what? Do I really have to dump him first? You still get to choose? Oh, that's good. Do you see him? Is he coming? Well, let's just come talk to him. Maybe I'll go to him. But if I, if I dump him... What? He's mad at me? Stinky, stinky man! Ugh, fine. I think I have to dump him. <sighs> Mark. Your first name is Mark? Oh, shoot. That's my dad's name. This is not good. Besties, this is not good. He also hates me now. I don't want to marry the Falcon guy. This sucks. Okay, I have to go home and write in my journal. Oh, Lady Mildred the Great, we can stop this now. I see why we've been fighting, and through it, I've grown to care for you beyond what words can convey. Okay, then the other guy said, You are like riding the waves of a stormy sea on the darkest of nights. Exhilarating. We can put these aggressions behind us and be happy together. Okay, so it's not toxic when Frogo does it? No! Frogo can do no wrong. <laughs> Teriel, they were the 33 months, and Cleo, they were the 16 months. Shella, you can't say stuff like that. Oh, write treaty of ongoing peace. No, I have to write a journal entry. I guess I do need to also write a treaty of ongoing peace, so maybe I'll do that too. Okay, dear journal, I was surprised, touched, and even a hint appalled by my suitors. Nonetheless, I have chosen. But how to tell him? Should I, cre <laughs> should I keep it strictly business, or do I want our relationship to overflow with love? 
my guy, you just beat up, dumped, and then declared your future husband an enemy. I think you have to go the love route, or else this is not gonna work out for us. I might be open to a deeper relationship. I can write a love letter? Okay, I'm gonna write a treaty of ongoing peace first. Step one. Oh, I cannot have a respectable child born outside the warm arms of love. I will draft a letter to my chosen suitor, my heart's desire, my little turret dove. Okay. I'm writing a love letter. Now to hand this letter to my chosen suitor, my sweet love to be. Oh, yay. Um, is that my king? Let me go back to him just to see. You know what? At least this relationship, it wasn't easy. But that's okay. Does he have a Shella? <laughs> Shella, please. Okay, give love letter. Please accept this token of my love for you. Oh, my heart sings with joy. You have chosen me. Now, which virtues are you looking for in our child-to-be? Oh, interesting. I need to- um, I need to call upon my chat for some advice here. Strength of arms is a worthy virtue to pass along to one's child. Or empathy is an important virtue for any royal heir. She's an empath! <laughs> Maybe we pick empathy? <laughs> Miss and Miss, thank you for the seven months, by the way. Maybe we'll do a poll. Can we get like a poll poll in chat? I think this child could use some empathy. I feel like they're not gonna get it from their mom. <laughs> Cause you know how she is. So if she could at least be that way, sort of naturally, maybe, maybe empathy is the right way to go. If there's a poll, we can vote, we can vote. We can decide upon this together. <laughs> Yeah, mom's a little harsh, so... <laughs> yeah, we need some less toxicity around here. 83% say empath. Okay, that's- that's the one. Start and argue with some- argument with someone, then be friendly by apologizing- What?! I will seek to gain a virtue by empathizing. What better way to do that than through the serious <laughs> apology? I'm sorry. You think you think the way to make your child be empathetic is to go start a fight with somebody for no reason? You have made so many poor choices. It's like bad choice after another. <sighs> okay. So I can I can fight with anybody? You say I can fight with anybody. I'm gonna be going to the town square. There's a particular peasant that I'm looking for at the moment. Um, I wish to argue with them. <laughs> There's a very specific one. Oh, no one's in here. Hello? I don't remember what her name was, but I didn't like her. Allison. Hmm. Or you think I should fight with the Mohawk guy? I mean, we can fight with the Mohawk guy. I'm okay with that. Let's go argue with him. I'll do it. Wolfric thinks Mildred's being impolite. Well, I'm not. Watch. Apologize. That's polite. I can feel the virtue in my tear ducts. I have gained the virtue of compassion. That's one virtue, but I should collect two more. Where shall I venture next? Are you serious? Where should Lady Mildred the Great search for a second virtue for her child? The deep cave or the bustling town? Um, the deep cave, honestly. 
I feel like the cave is a really good spot to look for virtues. There's like frogs and crabs in there. And we all know they have really good traits. This cave is not dark. It is in eternal twilight. It is not damp, but nourishing. It is not ugly, but the art of Mother Earth. Now I understand. The cave is a beautiful place. I have gained the virtue of beauty! Wait. <laughs> Two virtues. I should take a rest and visit with my chosen suitor, lest he forget about me. And then I shall eventually search for a final virtue amongst the people. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take a rest. If, if my suitor is in here, I'll visit with him. He's not. Maybe I'll go ask him about living in Cincyville. I'm just going very far away from him right now. This is probably a mistake. And now I'm going home. Okay. Oh, he's right there. He's coming home too. That's fine. We're going to sleep. It's past my bedtime. And I have virtues to find tomorrow. <laughs> Sephiroth and Sully and Megan, thank you all for the resubs. Oh, we should save the game too. This is too much. It's too much. <sighs> you know, meanwhile, we're on this quest for virtues. And I also have shirked all my responsibilities today. Also, it says that we're Froggy's ex. Which is not the best thing. I won't lie. Um, if I'm gonna try and marry him, being his ex is a little bit less than ideal. But that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna make some bear soup. I did kill a bear earlier. I may as well eat some of my soup. Alright. Where should Lady Mildred the Great search for the next virtue for her child? The mind or the soul? So the kid's gonna be beautiful and an empath. Maybe we get a mind one. I feel like the empath thing is a soul thing. <laughs> so maybe we pick a mind one. Okay. I will prod people's minds for the final virtue that I might take with me for my heir. Ask people for deep insight. You're just gonna go ask some randoms for deep insight? I'll talk to Suzanne. She probably has some good advice. She who does not look into the pit of judgment does not risk falling in. She also does not capture the knowledge of what lies inside. Huh? Oh, it's my bestie, the bard! Oh, we should talk to her. She's really smart. And she's really good at squashing rebellions. Do not wear armor to bed unless you sleep in the dens of dragons. Right. Moneylender Golda? Oh, should I ask my ex if he has any virtues? <laughs> the, the portcullis of opportunity does not crank open by itself. You must open it. Yes, you, Lady Mildred the Great. I see now. Many wise words. I have gained the virtue of knowledge. Now that I have collected three virtues for my child, I should write down my thoughts. Okay. Write another journal entry. Let's go. Dear Journal, what an adventure it has been. I have not only collected three virtues I value for my child, but I have learned much about myself. I admit that I am worried about being able to produce the desired child, or any child at all for that matter. What if the sheath cannot hold the sword? suitor a kiss goodbye okay <laughs> I'm actually gonna cry this is so funny <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Goodbye, my dearest Mildred. I shall await you in the forest. Bring the pomegranate flavored fertility wine? What are we gonna do in the forest? What do you mean you're gonna await me in the forest? What do you mean? What do you mean? Why the forest? Why, why, why? I'm scared. Someone goes, I told you it gets weird. Okay, um, I need to procure fertility wine from Pro Lifea? Not this too! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> B, thank you for the gift and subs, by the way. <laughs> I like this game. It's too much. Okay, so someone down here is gonna have some fertility wine for me. Oh, no, it's a place. Oh my god, duh. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was a person's name. I thought it was a person's name. This is why I never go to the woods. You know what, Steven? Maybe you're right. There's frogs in there, and apparently you gotta be concerned. I don't think I like the idea of this place. This ship is rocking wildly. Got the wine. Hmm, wait. <laughs> Will I be able to drink the wine? The ship is rocking wildly. Got the wine. Hey, look, a sperm whale. I think it smiled at me. Now I should head to the forest to meet my suitor for the grand fertility ritual? <laughs> what is this? Perform wild fertility ritual in forest. Okay. Here we go. All right, this I guess is the butt warning. We were told from a person in chat who played this recently that there are some uncensored butts in this part. So if you don't want to see the butts, <laughs> um, I guess this is your formal butt warning. <laughs> oh, we, he's got a sword. Uh oh. Perform wild fertility ritual. I don't know what to expect. I'm scared. I don't know what's going to happen and it makes me feel nervous. I don't want to speed up. I just want to leave it. It takes a while. Oh, it does take a while. Oh. They're busy. Hi, Mildred. Look what you brought. The finest virtues an heir to the throne could ever need. Uh-oh. My ex showed up. Yikes. This is a very complicated way to say they're woohooing in the <gasps> Stop! Oh, look at the size of those jugs of fertility wine. <laughs> you got pomegranate just like I asked. Are we supposed to drink all of it? Couldn't hurt, could it? This game is so different than I expected it to be. I mean, it's funny, but it's really different than I was anticipating. And so the fertility ritual began. Not even the silent wind knew what the future would hold for the couple. Huh. Do you think the fertility watcher can see our dance? Oh my god, are they fighting over me? Cute! I hope so. Hey, close your eyes for this part. No peeking at me. 
I'll promise to tell you if you're going to dance into a tree. Okay, I've come back. <sighs> that was perfect. I'm feeling extra fertile. Now is the time to have a child. How will this affect my relationship with my suitor? I missed the butt? Did I miss the butt? I don't know what to expect. Mary Suter. Oh, geez. We aren't even dating. It was just in the card? Okay, good. See, I was picturing that a sim was literally gonna run out with a butt. I think it was just the drawing. I'm not gonna get banned for that. That's good. Wait, where's my- where's he going? My king? Come back. I'm here to woo. We've just done a fertility ceremony. Is it hard to get back together with people that you've dumped in this game? Or is it like not that complicated? Because I did dump him. Ask to court. Ask for hand in marriage. <laughs> Congratulations, Mildred and Mark are now betrothed. They can get married in a church if they are members or at any location in the kingdom. Well, I'm not a member of the church, but I want to be one because I want to see what happens when you get married in them. Should I go become one? I think I should. How do I join the church? Talk to the priest? Oh, that's easy. Ask to join the faith. Hello. Yay! That was actually quite easy. Okay, is there like a little thingy so I can start my wedding? I need to invite my sim over. King Frogo. Now come and meet me here, King. He better be on his way. I'm not even joking. I'm busy with something at the moment. I'll go home. I'll have my wedding tomorrow. That's fine. I'm I think waiting a day is probably a good idea. If I just select him to have the wedding, they'll both yeet over there anyway. Oh. Can I go- uh, well, I- I'm- it's fine. I'm home and I'm going to eat dinner and go to bed. We'll do it in the morning. Ugh, my servant isn't even here anymore. I have to do it myself? <laughs> Rented things for the six months! <sighs> this is fine. Maybe I'll take a little bath and everything tonight. Look. I want to be nice and shiny for my wedding tomorrow. You know what I mean? It's a rough life cooking for yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you understand. It is really hard for me. Well, now we just wait. Let me save my game. Maybe dress her for the wedding. Oh yeah, we could do that. Yeah, I shirked my responsibility, whatever. I'm gonna plan my outfit as soon as she wakes up. I'm gonna get a pretty white dress. It's gonna be great. She's all stressed because she shirked her responsibilities. I got engaged! Sorry that that's my priority. Okay. Clothing. Something like fancy would be nice, you know? Oh my gosh! 
I don't know, it's strapless. That seems a bit scandalous to me. <laughs> oh, I could have added an outfit. Wait, wait, go back. Cause I want to add one. I actually love the purple. I won't lie. I think that purple looked really good. Oh, stunning. No, I think this purple is really nice. I could get married in purple. That's very royal. I know I can change the color to white, but I kind of like the purple is the thing. Let me look. Let me look at the other dresses. Because, like... I mean... This one is nice. Is that CC? Oh, no, I don't have any CC. This is just what the game is like. A fine white dress. I don't think white was really the vibes back then anyway. I feel like purple is good. Let's do purple. Let's do purple. And I'll change her hair for it and everything. Oh my god, I'll put a- oh my god, I'll wear a crown. Oh wait, I think I ruined her hair. Wait, go back. And now it should be fine. Her other outfit should be fine. Yeah, different hairs. Cool, I'm ready for the wedding. I think she looks good, like for real, I think she looks really good. I'm very excited. I'll make my own food on this wedding day because, um, well, I don't think my maid's here. 6 a.m. and not around? Can't imagine why. <gasps> ah! You ate it? Suzanne? I literally? I... <sighs> I'm baffled. <sighs> Fish stew. I made myself boar stew and it was better. Okay. I'm going to the church for my morning's wedding. I don't want to send Suzanne to the pit, though, because I kind of like her. <laughs> Chris, thanks for the gifted subs. And Ash and Miss and Carol and Mart, thank you for the subs, too. Okay. Well, we'll get over here. We'll be nice and ready. I will uh, change my outfit to my fancy clothes. Oh, my God, I'm ready. And then I need to invite over my king. If he doesn't show up, I'll kill him. I'm not even kidding. King Frago. You leave. Sorry, I'm busy with something? No, we're having the marriage here at the church. You stupid man. We're going to the church and you'll meet me there. Come on, let's go. I had to come down to the docks to get him. Are you kidding? We do look very regal though, me and him. Hours it took me to find him and get him to come in here. Oh, look, the wedding is like a party. Look, everybody's in here. I was even here in time for the sermon earlier. Whoa. <laughs> okay. You know, you guys probably should sit down for this. I won't lie. I think that you're kind of like blocking the the queen's wedding. What are you doing? Are you good? Anise? Okay, I want to get some screenshots of my wedding. We need to have this memory. Whoa! Whoa! Hello? Anise? The queen is literally getting married. <laughs> I might send 
it in east of the pit. I'm dead serious. Get out! The constable's on his way to arrest Anise. Yeah, I thought so. Anyway, apparently I have to... Does Lady, the Mil Does Lady Mildred the Great care about the gender of her child? No, I don't care. <sighs> Plan mating strategy on the tactics map? I want to make sure everything is just right before the big night. I should plan out my strategy. Also, gender matters not. The Watcher has a plan and I will be happy with that. Now for a bit of planning before we conceive. First of all, pop off Sims Medieval. Gender matters not. Second of all, I need to go watch Anise get killed. So first of all, let me just go to the judgment zone quickly. Anise will be over here in a sec. Um. The Watcher is me. It's like God. <laughs> Except it's the player. <laughs> um, oh, I can throw tomatoes! Tomato, tomato! No, don't release him. Ugh. No, don't release him! Okay, well, Constable, you better get back over there because- Oh! I was gonna say, you better get back over there. Holding bird, what are you doing? I think someone's coming to the pit beast, but I could be wrong, because I'm not seeing anybody. Kill and hunt a great bear, spy, king, froggo. I'm not seeing a niece. I'm a bit disappointed, because I said send to the pit. So, well, I don't like you. Oh, looks like the constable is too busy enforcing the law right now to arrest her, but fear not, she's been added to the list. Oh, so maybe the constable is coming. Oh, I think the constable was busy. Well, we might get our next thing soon. Here we go! Okay. Well, it's not who I thought, but... Oh, Suzanne came! Are you ready to watch my Sim get thrown into the pit? Oh, even the priest came! That was actually kind of nice for you to do that. That's probably comforting for her, you know? As she's getting thrown into the pit. What are you doing crying? <laughs> now, watch very closely. <laughs> I told you, it's worse than you think. Look, she's hanging on to the pit. Wow. That's a bit morbid. Sometimes they can survive. <gasps> what? She better not. <sighs> I'm waiting. The Grim Reaper should show up any second. Hurry up! Just die! It's my wedding day! I'm trying to celebrate! You're taking a bit too long! Still? Honestly, she's putting up a good fight. <gasps> she lived. Hey, 
Wow! You know what? That's fine. Okay? I'm truly impressed. I'm just gonna go home. You lived that. That's good. She's like magic or something. Okay, I need to plan my mating strategy. <laughs> this is really serious. Mildred has achieved great success. I've got it all figured out. Now it's time to bring my heir into the world. Now it's time to try for a baby with my suitor. <laughs> okay, well, I need to invite him over. Can I, will he come over now or will he not listen to me? Why can't I invite him over? What the heck? Why is he always busy? Leap into arms. This is some PDA right here. There are not enough nearby beds large enough to woohoo on. Right. Well, can you come home with me? She wants to hunt and kill a great bear again? Invite Sim to location. I know you're not busy, you stinky man. I was just with you. <gasps> King Frogo. I'm busy with something at the moment? But I planned a strategy. We were gonna woohoo and everything. I think he'll make his way over here eventually. I suppose in the meantime, maybe I'll just like make myself some dinner. <sighs> that's why you married the builder, he's trapped there. Yeah, that's a good idea. If I wasn't so attached to Frogo, I would have married the builder. Whatever, we'll just do it in the morning. Do the daily tasks. I don't have enough time to hunt a bear. I'm doomed. Well, I suppose now we wait. Why doesn't he ever come here? Is it that he's not ready for fatherhood? Come try right now. It's 4 a.m. Let's see if he wants to. What? There's not even like a... He's not even an option. There's like not even the family option. What the heck? Would I be down to renovate the castle for a video one day? Maybe. That could be funny. Well, can you make me some food in a sec? Frogo is really disappointing me. Call for food. I'm really sad, so you need to give me something to eat. Because of my sadness. Wait, call over. This might work. <gasps> there he is! My king! Yay! Okay. Embrace. Whisper sweet nothings. Woohoo! Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Do it again. Finally. 
I will get my air. Mark my words. Whoa. Is there anything better in this world? We don't know if that worked for a little while anyway. We should keep woohooing until we have the child, just to be sure, of course. Okay. Oh, he's dancing. Wait, I can annul my marriage? Annulment is no longer available for the sim, but a divorce can be granted by the church. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this game. Okay, romantic. Embrace. Come on. I think I'm extremely irresistible. Okay, let's go woohoo again. Does this game have the sound when you get pregnant? All right, let's listen very closely. Hashtag marriage rocks. <laughs> um, I think that was a baby sound. If I've ever heard one, uh, it was that one. Do it again, just for good measure. How long are you pregnant for in this game? <laughs> Write a treaty of ongoing peace and read the war crimes docket. Okay, I'll do those while I wait. A few days, okay. I guess now we just keep going. Read the war crimes docket. It's just in my inventory, right? Journal entry, war crimes docket. I'll read it again. An unsociable guildsman was judged guilty, blah, blah, blah. Signed royal arrest warrant, blah, blah, blah. See, I'm getting my tasks done even. Oh, send guildsmen to the stocks? <gasps> Yay, how exciting. I'll go do it. And then maybe I'll have a baby soon. You think it's three days like regular Sims? Okay. The constable is on his way to arrest this person. Oh my god! Your Sim is pregnant and glowing! Do you want some tips on pregnancy? When woohooing in medieval times, it is very easy for your Sim to become pregnant. <laughs> when your Sim is expecting, you can expect to see new and interesting changes. Your sim will avoid being in uncomfortable situations, like being sent to the so stocks or getting in sword fights. Your sim will also experience discomfort, such as nausea. These show up as negative buffs in the buffs panel and are a normal part of pregnancy process. Once the baby is on its way, your sim will be sent home and have a very limited interactions for a short amount of time. Infants need food and love to survive. Be sure to interact with your beautiful baby often. This will help soothe them when they are upset. At the appropriate time, your infant will grow into a child. No toddlers. The Sims 4 somehow could. <laughs> the Sims 4 doesn't have much on Sims Medieval, but toddlers? That one we win. Most importantly, when a hero dies, their child heir can age up and replace them in their profession. Children can also be helpful to your household by bringing you gifts from the forest or purchasing items from the store for you. You can see what is in your child's inventory by clicking on the child and selecting view inventory. Wait, so they don't grow up until you die? I accept. Arrest Merchant Nicholas. Arrest Merchant Nicholas. Tomato, tomato. Hang on. Judgment zone. Tomato, tomato. Yay! Throw tomato. Throw tomato. Throw tomato. Imagine the queen throws tomatoes at you. Wicked shark. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Throw an egg. <laughs> yeah, that's great fun. Okay. Sorry, I'll probably go home now. 
Could you throw everyone in the pit in this game? I mean, I think theoretically, yeah, you could. Oh, I'm gonna announce my pregnancy to this villager. He did a thumbs up. Request that you feel my tummy. <laughs> you don't even know me. Let me tell the guard too. I'm gonna tell everybody. I'm really excited. Hey, Midnight, thank you so much. I love you. Um, and Bella, and Computed, and Amanda, and Liva, and Kay, and Margaret, and Maze, and Brooke, and Lit Uno, and Carrie, and Big Bong Mia, and Scarlet, and Sammy. Thank you all for the subs. I'm sorry, I totally didn't read those for a long time because I was so distracted by my woohooing. Oh, I didn't tell my husband yet. Oh, shoot. Announce pregnancy. Request feel tummy. Off we go. Oh, he's right there. Easy. Okay, I told him. I don't think he cared. Do I even know his traits? Oh, I do. Whale ate my parents, good guild enemy. No, oh, what's a guild enemy? Have I married the enemy? This man is a friend of the pirates. <sighs> okay. Yeah, a whale ate his parents. That part is, to be honest with you, less sur less surprising to me. Well, I'm gonna eat it. Oh, I didn't mean to make a large fish stew. Don't waste it. Eel soup. Yeah. See, I'm a woman of the people. I even cook my own dinner. Do you see this? And then I'm going to take a little bath because I'm pregnant. And then I'm going to go to sleep. Hurry up. Tick tock. Aching back. Carrying an extra sim around sure is hard on the back. You know what, Bestie? I, I'm sorry. That does seem tough. I, I feel like being pregnant in medieval times is, like, extremely unpleasant. So, I support you. It's unpleasant any time. But, like, at this time? Yeesh. <laughs> um, you've got it bad. <laughs> so... I'm sorry that you have to deal with that. I won't lie. Okay. <gasps> Look, I've got a little baby bump! Oh, yay! Okay, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Make food. I'm gonna have some frog soup. <gasps> but I married a frog. <gasps> you! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! That's mine! I'm pregnant. Oh, oh, now you're feeling my baby bump? Yeah, after you ate my frogs? Why does it have to be my royal advisor? Her and Suzanne are my besties. I can't lose them. If it were anybody else, I'd send her straight to the pit. I'm not even kidding. Whale soup? Actually, I think my husband would like that because a whale ate his parents. Maybe this is good. Okay, I accept that, actually. <laughs> I accept it. My husband doesn't like whales, so... Here are three petitions. Oh, and sick a parrot on the guild emissary. Okay. I'll hold court and listen to some petitions. I'm hearing one. All right. My liege, I have little money and no possessions save a present grade loot. I live only on donations from kind citizens and from performing for the local children. But now I must produce 300 simoleons or I'll lose my home. Musicians are beloved in the community. It would not reflect well on the monarchy if I allow one of their favorite performance to become a homeless beggar, cost 300 simoleons. 
Or, the castle cannot simply dispense large sums of money to every sad person in the kingdom. If I give handouts now, where will they end? No! I'm taking pity. I'm a nice person. I am overcome by your generosity. I shall write a ballad in your honor. Oh, my popularity has massively increased. Oh, yay. Okay, that actually is really good. And it only cost me like 300 bucks. No, I didn't forget the quest. My friend, um, I have to wait until I give birth. So I can't really <laughs> do anything else. <laughs> um, I'm just waiting until the baby is born, so... <laughs> I wish to erect a statue of your majesty in the outer village, one worthy of your your visage. You'll remind those villagers who's the monarch, you know? I merely asked to have the cost of materials covered. Hmm, a giant statue of me. That could have a lot of uses. People could tip their hats to it, fear it, that kind of thing. Or, I'd rather be remembered for my deeds. There are better uses for the kingdom's resources than expressions of vanity. Do you think I should spend 500 bucks on it? Statue's kind of cool. But what if they don't like it? I've got loads of money. No one wants it? Art is important? Well, I think we need a poll. Because I'm seeing a lot of like, what if the townspeople think that I'm selfish, but also support the arts, you know? <laughs> I think maybe we do need a poll for this. Save it for better stuff. But I have like 8,700. And it only is 500. I don't know what else I spend money on in this game, to be honest. Look, Mildred would probably do it. But I understand that it's a bad idea. <laughs> Ninja, Molly, and Forksy, and Chloe, thank you for the subs. Bella, too. Everybody, thank you so much. Oh, it's actually really close. It's literally 50-50. Ugh, I don't know. Okay, I guess we'll wait a second. Because it's 51-49. Okay, vote in the poll. Do we get the statue, yes or no? I could buy new things for the castle. I could buy new things for the castle, but I find build mode in this game to be a bit scary. <laughs> Alright, well right now it's 54-46%, so 54% says yes. So it's leaning a little bit towards yes. You will lose popularity. Hmm. I, I think people say yes. The poll says yes. Erect it. You just completed a Sim of the People for five points towards your Watcher achievement level? A Sim of the People maximize your monarch's popularity? I shall not disappoint my liege, you know, for another 50 gold symbols, I could probably get the eyes to shoot fire. Lady Mildred the Great's popularity has massively increased. The public now universally adores her. Oh, I'm the best queen there ever was. This is very exciting for me. <laughs> okay, now we wait for another person to come. The guard is here to petition me. Lizard and Sarah and Kylo in the 23 months. And now I have a statue, this is great. I want my son to learn the trade that has been in our family for generations, but he wants to join the theater and travel the world. I don't know what to do. The boy must follow his own path. That's all any of us can do. If you love him, you must set him free. Or, the monarch is not here to solve your every trifling quandary. I have a kingdom to run. Be gone. Be gone. I'm not going to tell him to be gone. I just became the most popular monarch in all the land. I can't risk that. Follow your heart. I guess you're right. I will support my son no matter what he decides. My popularity has increased. We have to do a playthrough another time where we try and be awful and like be like the most unpopular queen. That would be really fun for me. Okay, we have to go do some stuff with parrots. So I guess I'll go do that now. Oh wait, that's the wrong person. Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry, I meant this guy. Can I not access him? Why? My back is aching? Well, I can't do anything. No interactions available? Why? I have a parrot. 
What is the point of my parrot if not to send it to attack people? Is it because there's a baby? I'm not in labor yet. Do you see my parrot anywhere? Oh, I have my virtue of beauty. Oh, I've got loads of random stuff. Maybe I don't have a parrot anymore. My sim is too heavy with child to do that right now. Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. <laughs> Spot. Oh my god, you won't believe that. Hang on. I'll send someone to the pit for you. I'll send someone to the pit for you. No, am I too pregnant to send anybody to the pit? Oh, being a woman sucks. I think I might be in labor. I'm dead serious. Anyway, we're playing Sims Medieval, okay? Basically, this is a Sim spinoff from like 2011. Um, I'm the queen. <laughs> uh, right now, we are on a quest to have a baby. You should have seen this. It was absurd. There was a whole fertility ritual. I had to pick a suitor. It was... This game is too much. You can also literally send Sims to death in a pit with a beast. I'm not even joking. I know it sounds like a lie, but I'm dead serious. There is a hole with a monster in it. And when you send a Sim to death in there, the monster eats it alive and you watch it happen. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. Uh, that's what we're doing right now. I think my game is like glitched a little bit because I think she might be in labor. I've never had a baby in this game, so I'm not sure how it works. But I can't- Oh, I am in labor. The baby is coming! Okay, we have to stay at home so I can have a safe and comfortable birth. Well, here we go. Anyway, thank you for the raid, Scott. <laughs> I hope you had a good stream. My dad said, wait. My dad's like, wait, there's a pit beast? <laughs> that might be- that might be right up your alley. <laughs> okay, now we just wait. I'm sorry, I mentioned this earlier, but I think it's a really terrible time to have a baby you know, medieval times and whatnot, so I'm sorry this is happening to you. It's a new baby girl! Oh, I have to name her. Oh my gosh. Okay, chat suggestions. The mother's name is, is Lady Mildred. No pressure. Beatrice. Patricia. Keep in mind, this person's also gonna be the next queen, so like, no pressure. Gertrude, Bonnie, Mildew, huh, oh, there's a poll, what have my mods selected, tadpole, okay, <laughs> hmm, Agatha, Freya, Muriel, oh, Muriel, Edith, Lady Edith, oh, I kind of like Edith, Astrid! <gasps> Astrid! Lady Astrid. Lady Astrid! It's perfect! I think that's the one. I think that's the one. Do you agree? Are we on the same page? I think... I think this is right. Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> we have a newborn! I should spend time with it to see if it's the child I've been hoping for. What?! Oh dear. <laughs> it looks nice. Spend time with newborn. Okay, I'm doing it. How much time do I have to spend with it? Don't I have people for this? I'm the queen. <laughs> Jay, Sarah, Marmy, thanks for the subs. Okay, I have to cuddle the baby loads, I think. Of course my husband's not here. Oh, and I could probably send someone to the pit now. Hang on, I like him. I had a whole talk with him about his son and accepting his son. I like B Buildmaster Garth. Okay, is now a bad time to leave my house and send someone to the pit? Because I would like to. But there's no one in my house that I would like to send to the pit. Um, how about... Linda. Kermit! Okay, maybe, let me see who I can invite over. And I'll, I'll figure it out. Perhaps the falcon man that I almost dated, because he was a big mistake. Friends. Wolfric. Now nah, he'll work. 
I'd be happy to come over, see you soon. <laughs> okay. I don't think you will be, but nice try, I guess. <laughs> He's a spy, though. Yeah, and oh, fine, I won't kill him. The falcon guy, you think? I guess I need the spy. Fine. Flint the dashing young falconer. Now that I've had some time, I'd like to write one final journal entry about my new child. No, we have to send the falconer to the pit. Monarch. Ugh, he's too important to the quest to be killed? This is stupid! What about Brewer Vince? Send a pit. Sorry, someone has to die. It's to make an example of you. The constable's on his way to arrest Vince. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm going to write another journal entry while I wait. Did I finish it? Dear journal, although this child is not what I expected, <laughs> it's so much more. My previous expectations are a, but a hazy dream now. The first time this child looked into my eyes, my soul was touched. I've decided this child will be the heir to my throne. <gasps> Very exciting. Okay, well, while we wait, I might go to the judgment zone. Um, we should have a constable. Oh, and less Lady Mildred the Great got her heir to the throne, Simsyville rejoiced. No, don't end my quest! I wanted to send someone to the pit! But much more than that, Mildred learned the meaning of many virtues and was touched by the magic of having a child of one's own. Ugh! Well... I finished the quest, we just pick a new one now. I can't even, I can't even send someone to the pit. The one person that's to the pit earlier, I didn't know this, but apparently they can survive the pit as well. I, from my previous experience with the pit, there were no survivors, but today I sent someone to the pit and then she jumped out and lived. So I've not had good pit luck today, but at least I have an heir to the throne. <laughs> <laughs> That quest was very exciting, I won't lie. I don't feel so good. I don't wanna do that. Bounty hunt wild boar? A bounty is offered to anyone brave enough to slay the beast? A rash of rudeness? Although Simsyville was growing and prospering, its people were ridiculed for their general ignorance and uncouth behavior. It was time to take a stand and change the ill-mannered ways of the people. Oh, I could probably make a new building. Actually, now that I think about it, we could probably build the other church. Cause, um... Or the smithy. Let's get a blacksmith profession. Oh, exciting! Should we pick Brock? Brock is a jokester, entitled, and has weak constitution. Amber Jill here is good, dedicated, and puny. I think I like her. I'll take a puny blacksmith. That'll be good. Okay. Well, I might actually have a new quest unlocked for, for her, but I think I might try the rudeness one. Let's try educating. Oh, I don't want to be her. I don't want to be the bard. Ugh. Or the priest. Slay the boar. No! I want to be the queen! Okay, this one I can be the queen. The incident. This is a war one. Hey, Van and Polina and Rasheed and Ringing, thank you for the subs. This is a pirate quest? Yeah. What's this one? Oh, I could do this one too. The kingdom was about to be engulfed in a scandal that would, could destroy diplomatic relations with the neighboring realm. But could the fallout be mitigated by creating the illusion of a greater problem? That might be good. The spy was a master manipulator. Could the people of Simsyville be convinced that they were locked in combat with an imaginary enemy? Or perhaps the physician could st construct a false plague? 
<gasps> Let's construct a false plague to distract them. That's a great idea. Okay. Easy. Easy. This is exactly what I want to do. <laughs> Ruling over Simsyville was a job with unique challenges. Some days you just sat and heard the occasional petition, and some days you awoke to a scandal that threatened to tear the kingdom apart. This was one of the latter days. Lady Mildred the Great had discovered that her royal advisor was romantically engaged with one of the dignitary's daughters from Tradeny. This was dangerous political territory, and once word of the scandal got out, it could cause an international incident. Something had to be done to hide the truth from the people. And I, I think that the guy should still be going to the pit, by the way. Um, so I can discuss the affair with my advisor, but also go wait at the judgment zone just in case the pit is happening. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, perfect. I told you I'd give you the pit. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Ah, uh, innocent flirting leads to a hidden relationship which gets out of hand. A charming story, but very dangerous to my kingdom. I need to speak with the daughter herself, quickly. Oh! We'll deal with that in a second. This is more important. Now watch very closely, because what you're about to see may shock you. <laughs> very closely. Um... It like goes on for a really long time and it's kind of morbid. Like the sounds and everything, it's a little bit too much. Wait, I think we might've gotten him. We might've gotten him and fast. Oh, nope. Here he comes. Not dead yet, not dead yet. Oh! He tried to climb out, it didn't work. <gasps> Yay, he's dead! Finally, oh, okay. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. <laughs> Wait for it. The pit beast is gonna throw the bones out. Hello? I didn't even get to see my bones! Whatever, he's dead at least. Discuss affair with the daughter. Let me go do this now. Oh, she's here? Oh, but she's pretty. I'd actually be okay if she dated my advisor. I'm not even kidding. Why do I have to care? Look, my advisor and her would be like cute together. Gwyneth and her, what's her name? Well, I guess the daughter is a bit young for her, but she was cute. I missed it. Oh, I missed the bones. Darn. I was distracted. Oh, here she is. Gwyneth and Suzanne. See? Wouldn't that be nice? I do. I ship it. I do. A charming young lady. You could almost forget that her innocent love story could tear our two kingdoms apart. I must keep this out of the public light. Well, I convinced my advisor to go into hiding. I need to ask townspeople for juicy gossip. I heard that the smith master from Craft Hole eats mud with his food. He, his breath certainly smells like it anyway. Disturbing, but nothing to do with my advisor, okay? I can't talk to you. Is there anyone else I can talk to or are we all going home tonight? One more. I heard that something scandalous is going on in the castle. Something involving a hot young blonde. But I don't know much more. Oh. That is a good question. Don't know why anyone would tell the queen that so easily. Anyway, this is a bad sign. Apparently the rumor came from near the town square, which means it's the next stop on my investigation. Okay, well, let me feed my baby. And cuddle it, and then I'll go to sleep. I should probably eat some dinner first, actually, and then I'll go to sleep. And tomorrow, we move on with the quest. Fish stew, no, fowl soup, fowl soup's better. 
We did marry the frog guy. Yeah, Katie. My husband, I turned him into a human from a frog. Um, and now, I don't know really where he is, but somewhere over there. You see where, like, the line is to him? He's somewhere down there. I don't know. He doesn't come home much. That's fine. <laughs> I don't need to see him. I'm not sure why he doesn't live with me, to be honest. I don't really know how this game works. So, <laughs> ALC, thanks for the 24 months. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up, because I want to go investigate. Ask gossiper for juicy gossip. Oh, that's not my husband. That's... I don't know where my husband is. I won't lie. Let me call for some food, and then I'll go get some juicy gossip. What do we got this morning? Hunter's stew. Okay. Juicy gossip. This is the Sims 3 engine, yeah. Um, so you don't need to have the Sims 3 to play this, but it runs on the Sims 3's engine. It's a separate game, though. It's a complete separate spinoff. It's not like an expansion or anything. You didn't know? Someone in the castle has been having some foreign relations with that cute little number from Tradeny. What a scandal. This is bad. If the commoners know about the affair, there's no telling who else knows. I need help with this problem, but of course my number one go-to advisor is off with her beloved. I might know someone else, though. The cute little number? Okay, well we have to discuss the situation with the physician for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> You sent someone to the pit and love hearts started coming out? What's going on in the pit? Astrid is about to grow up? Ah! Where? Hang on, 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 hang on. Okay, she hasn't grown up yet. I'll talk quickly to the physician. And then I'll go home. Sounds like we need a distraction. You see, your average townsperson suffers from a condition we physicians called- <gasps> What?! Your average townsperson suffers from a f condition we physicians call stupid brain? They'll believe any situation we construct? Handle the situation as best as you can for now and get back to me soon? This game is too much. Okay, so you need to discuss your plans with your assistant. Feel free to do that. You need to go back to the throne room. So we agree, the best way to distract the populace from the real scandal is to fake a horrible plague. It's really not so tricky. You just infect a few townsfolk with a mildly incurable disease, claim it's the plague, and the rest takes care of itself? What did I do? What did I select? No, 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 no. This one's bad. This is bad. When she said fake a plague, I thought we were going to be like, oh no, something's going around. Stay in your houses. I. Well. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll just infect random townsfolk with some faux plague, or I'll hire some actors to pretend to be plague victims. Okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Actors, actors. It's fine. <laughs> I don't think we can, I can't bring myself to actually start a plague. I'm sorry, but given the current climate, <laughs> we can't do this. Okay, you need to discuss gig with the actor leader. Where are the- where's the actor leader? We'll get there. I can't poison real citizens. Is that my child? No, that's Brendan. Sorry, I got excited. I can't poison real citizens even lightly. What I need is people to act like they have the plague. Luckily, there's an acting troupe passing through town. But how will I convince them to do this? Easy, just go talk to them. Here, go cuddle the baby and feed it. It'll be great. 
Why are we doing this? Basically, we're doing this because my... <laughs> My Sims advisor is having an affair with, like, the daughter of some neighboring town's king. So, like, my Sims advisor have, is having an affair with some other princess, and we can't risk, like, our relationship with the, the, the other town. So, we need to fake a plague to distract people. Sounds like a nice challenge, but we don't perform our art for free. Are you gonna pay us? Yeah, I'm the queen. Payment, of course, 50 gold for your troop. Oh, that's easy. Happy to pay for a top-notch performance? Okay, I can pay you right now. I'm not even kidding. This is easy. Lead actor Trevor. Okay. So you're acting like you have the plague. Out of the bread basket and into the oven? Congratulations, Astrid has grown up into a lovely lass? Where, 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 where? Where's my baby? I wanna plan Astrid's outfits. I can't. Do you see her? Let me know if you see any children. Because I'm meant to have one. I need to add a bed for her. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Comfort. Rope bed? That'll be good. Here you go. That's for you, my little Astrid. Go here. You... Do you have a child anywhere? Do you see any children anywhere? Mm. I don't get it. I don't understand how it works. She's in the same room as me? That's not her. That's flower seller Penelope. That's my servant Suzanne. Okay, you need to loudly announce plague to the monarch. Oh my god. <laughs> loudly announce plague. I don't care if the child's lost. I'll get her eventually. A plague, you say? That sounds awful. We must save the people, you and I. Together, go and treat the townspeople while I help from here. <laughs> Let me go loudly diagnose this person. And I'll discuss plagues with gossipers. Where are the gossipers? Surgeon, oh, that's me. Never mind. How about you? Friendly. I can't discuss the plague. Where are the gossipers? What do you mean? Oh, this is a gossiper. Oh, duh. I can see it. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that's the plague, all right. Nothing you can do about plague, you know, because it's the plague. <laughs> Diagnose a plagued citizen loudly. Should I do another one? Okay, I'm coming to discuss the plague with this gossiper. Wow, really? This will be the news of the season. I need to go tell everyone. <laughs> Ooh, scandal. Time to spread the word. What? No, I still haven't found my child, but I'm sure I'll get there eventually. Never seen the plague this bad. Better warn your next of kin, chuckle. And then we need to regroup at the clinic. Okay. This is so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Pumpkin Patch and Sleepy and Mikkel and Riley, thank you for the subs again, everybody. Um, okay. Well. She was in the square. Well, hopefully she'll come to bed at night at least. It's working. News of the plague is spreading like wildfire. It'll only be a matter of time before the scandal with the advisor blows over. Let's slowly scale back the plague until both scandals fade into obscurity. 
Okay, go back to the throne room. Alright, I need to heal a fake plague actor. That's easy. Oh, I'm eating a snack. Nice work. I'm supposed to research symptoms, but I'm not doing that. Because I'm busy healing fake plague actors. So... I've been healed. A disbeliever has come to the throne room? Uh-oh. That's not good. Wait, oh! I'm fighting the Disbeliever and it's my ex, Wolfric? This was autonomous. He's the Disbeliever? Or am I just fighting him for no reason? No, she's the Disbeliever. So why did I fight him? Something about this plague just doesn't seem right. These people don't seem that sick and some of them are getting better already. And what happened to that girl from Tradeny? Nothing happened to her. I'll threaten them with some time in the stocks or worse. Let's see how the threat of exile from Simsyville sits. What? You want me to, I mean, I'll put her in the pit, that's fine, but that doesn't seem like a good way to fix this. You can't threaten me, I know my rights. You have no rights, but those I allow you. To the stocks! This is probably a mistake, I won't lie. But we'll try. That was close, but I won't have to worry about her anymore. I hope not. I'm getting nervous. Should have exiled. Yeah, I probably should have, but I just threatened to exile her is the thing. How many more fake plague actors do we have? This is too much. Okay, you, my friend, should go to sleep. What are you doing? Use? Well, that's the first time I've seen that happen. Oh, I think she was going to talk to her kid. But I lost her again. Oops. Oh, well. Yeah, it's a chamber pot. I know that. But I didn't realize that we had one or that they could use it. Because she doesn't have a bladder need. So I didn't know she could use it. <laughs> that is new to me. All the plague... Victims have been healed. Okay. Well, that's interesting. You can go to sleep. Oh, well, my wife is here. So why doesn't my other character's husband sleep with me? Because she's right here. Trash and pumpkin patch, thanks again for the subs. Morgan, thank you for the 17 months. Or seven months, sorry. Trash was with 15 months. Morgan was seven months, and I combined them. I need to move him in. Oh, I don't know how it works. I haven't, obviously I haven't played this, so I don't really know. Um, we can try and figure that out tomorrow. We don't know where the kid is, Nick. I don't know. I've still not seen the king. <laughs> Make some seed porridge, why don't you? And then go loudly announce the plague's defeat. I waited like a whole day. That's a good sign, right? We are saved. Recall advisor. All right. No, not don't. Well, maybe I'll write a treaty of ongoing peace while I wait. And then, recall advisor from village at message post. That's easy. Uh, oh. 
I'm sure my advisor enjoyed her little vacation with her young lover, but boy, does she owe me one? Oh, oh, that's not my kid. That's a different kid. That's, that's not my kid. Oh, I finished it. I'm level 10. I maxed the monarch. Congratulations. Mildred has reached monarch level 10. I can set t taxes on the kingdom. I can improve my fighting proficiency. Well, that was actually really easy. <laughs> we should probably, I mean, I think I'm going to get off stream here kind of soon. I know it's uh, different than what I normally get off stream. Maybe I'll do like one more quest. But I was going to say we should probably um, level up some of the other ones. Royal Assassination. Oh. <gasps> The monarch was hiking taxes, executing townsfolk, and otherwise being really mean. Someone would have to find out what was going on with the queen and then kill her. Seriously, you will permanently kill the monarch in this quest. <gasps> okay, we might do that next time we stream this. I won't do that today, I wanna save that. But we'll do another one and try and like, level up something else. New information from Simsy, oh wait, wait, I have to, let me actually buy this while I am here. Carrie here is entitled, chivalrous, and morose. And Kinberg here is entitled, chivalrous, and a fool. You can be a fool, that's fine. Okay, sorry. Anyway, um, <laughs> seven mechanical arts. This is a blacksmith one. We haven't played with the blacksmith yet. Should we try that? That might be fun. Okay. I'm ready for you, Journeyman Smith Ambergill. All right. The seven mechanical arts, tailoring, architecture, agriculture, warfare, trade, cooking, and blacksmithing. Journeyman Smith Ambergill was one of the master of one art, but she wanted more. One night after a few ales, she announced, I will succeed in one difficult task for each of the arts. After each victory, I'll forge a badge using what I've learned to signify my dominance over that art. Today, the challenge would begin. Amber Jill dropped a handful of seeds into her pocket. These are for the agriculture art. Once I figure out how to grow them, she thought. But the first thing I should do is forge my blacksmithing badge. Okay. Craft the bag of blacksmithing. Badge. Whoa. I need crudium. Oh my god. This is gonna take me forever! I have to go to my parents' house for dinner! <laughs> That's not even the right stuff! <laughs> okay, that's the same stuff as before. That's cool. We can always go to the store and buy some, I probably. Ferris quartz and crudium. Okay, crudium is what I needed. Well, if we see any other rocks... We can grab them, but for maybe for now I'll um, forge the badge of blacksmithing. Okay. Sarah and Melon and Freya, thank you for the subs. We did finish the plague quest, Lulu, yeah. What? Oh, wow. This is like serious. Look at that! Huh! After a lot of hard work, we successfully forged a normal quality badge of blacksmithing. Next on the list is the art of trade. I can easily make weapons and armor that are good enough to trade. This should be easy. Okay. What do you want me to do? Craft three crude plate mails, craft three long swords. I don't even have enough stuff. Wow. This is kind of fun. No, this is not a new game, Mara. This game came out in 2011, actually. <laughs> um, it's a spin-off Sims game called Sims Medieval. It's actually kind of fun. Uh, we've played it a couple times on stream now. Okay, that's one of them. Let's forge another one. 
That's our second long sword. Okay. Someone in chat said there's some good mining spots elsewhere. Let me go look around and see if I can find any. Um, I was thinking like the cave might have some stuff around it. Yeah. This will be good. Electrum. Okay. Electrum and shiny stones? The cathedral and abbey has some up there too. Huh. Ferris and Crudium. Okay, I needed that stuff. Up by the cathedral and abbey. Here's one. Okay. This is wild. There's so much to do in this game. I'm like so impressed. I really wasn't expecting like this much. But like there's totally a, like a bajillion quests for like all of the characters. It's really exciting. A rich mineral deposit? Electrum, Crudium. Mithril? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crystal and Mame Gosh, thank you for the resubs. 40 months, Mame Gosh, thank you so much. Do you see anything else up here? I don't know if I can get on this. Oh, I can get over here. What do you got for me? Gem deposit. Success odds low of collecting it. Oh, I failed to collect it. I guess I'm in a really bad mood. Oh, I probably should just go home. I'm very hungry and sore. Okay, my bad. I kind of flopped there. Should have seen that coming. It's all good. I'll make some gruel. What are you doing? Hedge wizard? Whoa. Maybe I'll use my chamber pot and then I'll go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I know you have better odds if you do your responsibilities because it helps them focus. I just, there's too much to do and too little time. Now she's going to be in a bad mood because of her bland meal and short responsibilities. Oh, I should save the game. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, I think I'm gonna get off stream at 6.30, by the way. I'll, I'll stream for like 15 more minutes. Um, sincerest apologies, but I went live a little bit early on purpose because I wanted to make sure that I um, could go to my parents' house at a reasonable time for dinner. <laughs> um, it's my dad's birthday, so. Oh, I'm in a really bad mood. Okay, what can I do to get in a better mood? Shoot. Um, maybe make your bed. Maybe you'll like that. Use that. Are there any snacks I can find? Are there like any... I can't gather from that object. Okay, success odds low. That's not good for me. My dad said what? Dad, you know I'm coming over. I'm the one who cooked dinner. <laughs> what do you mean? <sighs> All right. I am unsure of what to do about her poor needs. Maybe I'll like, maybe I'll do a comforting hug. Maybe that would be nice for you. Trait. Complain about work. Complain about life. Alright, I'll just wait until 9am and I'll get a task, hopefully, that I can do. Successfully mine three times. Craft and deliver crude plate mail. Buy the sink. Washing hands helps. 
Furnish mode. I can't. Oh, am I not like in the building? Is that why? Oh, there you go. Um, by the sink, you say, washing hands helps. Domestic? Hygiene. Washing bucket. This could be good. I'm clean. I don't have anything good to make food. Well, I'm gonna try and eat some gruel again. I'll probably get even worse after this. Don't clean up, don't clean up. Eat. Oh, you can fish in the river for free food? Oh, I didn't know you could fish. That's actually news to me. Huh. Oh, are you? <laughs> I, I too thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, I successfully mined that. I did not successfully collect that. I did it that time. Okay, well, maybe I'll go forge the board, the badge of agriculture. Oh my God, how many things do I have to do? So much work. Collect. Oops, failed. Try again. Got it that time. Well, I cleared one of my tasks. That's a good sign. Okay. I think I've got enough stuff to go do my crafting now. Happy birthday, Ray! I can sing you a birthday song. Yes, I can. Ooh. All right, I need a long sword again. That's my third one. Hopefully I don't flop this time. Oh, the person who said that they saw my joke about Liam is that um, Liam Payne made a separate Twitter to talk about NFTs. And I replied to his tweet and I said, you are very weird, Liam. That was all. <laughs> See, I thought it was funny. Oh, I need more Ferris. I need five of them. Oh my gosh, how much work? Well, I need to do some more collecting of any rocks that I can see. This is hard, this quest is hard. No Ferris in that one. Hmm. Let's try this one. Ferris! I got four of them. Okay. Anything else around here, perhaps? Here's one. Come on. That's not what I was looking for, but that's fine. No Ferris in that. No, so Doctor, this game isn't on Steam. It's actually on Origin. Um, it's an EA game. EA has its like own version of Steam. Oh, I got an achievement. But yeah, EA has its like own version of uh, Steam, its own like game thing um, called Origin. And so you can only get this game on Origin. I know it's dumb. Origin kind of sucks, but <laughs> this is the way it is. But this game is, like, still for sale. It is still possible to get. Um, even though it came out in 2011. <laughs> it runs pretty well, though. I've not had any issues. It's not, like, crashing or anything. Um, so I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. I won't lie. I, I think it's pretty good. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
they just kiss? Wow. I am very surprised by that. Wait, why did my stuff go away? I have to do my responsibility. Give armor to him. Where are my other things? A sim was sent to the stocks. What about my other quests? Oh, I closed them. That's how. That's why. All right, I need to craft, craft another plate mail. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I closed it and I'm acting all surprised. Um, can I make another one or am I out? Wait, that's fine. That's what I wanted. Forge crude plate mail. Come on. It's after midnight, but we're gaming. Come on. Oh, I think it only counts me as having two because I had to give one of them to that man yesterday or earlier today. That sucks. Um, oh, Bella, that is awesome. I really hope that it works out. That's so cool. Um, and Zara and Rika, thank you for the subs and bits. And Christine and everybody, thank you so much. Um, favorite 1D member? Oh, boy. <laughs> Liam Payne with a whopping 2% of the vote. <laughs> You guys are funny. <laughs> um, anyway, Harry Styles wins first place. Shockingly. Embrace joy. I don't care. Okay. What are you upset about? Sore from all that physical exertion? Okay, well, you're going to have to keep doing it today. So, sorry to break it to you. Dry spell. More acutely feel the effects of not having kissed or woohooed in a while. Time to get Amber Jail some action. <laughs> okay, this is too much. This game is too much. All right, I think, do I really, is it not gonna let me do anything until I get some action? Well, Barman Jeffrey, <gasps> he's dating that other person. I was gonna woohoo with him or something, at least talk to him, but he's dating someone I know. Okay, how about Maid Linda? Can I not be romantic with her? Come on, let me. What about Shopkeeper? Can I not be romantic with them? Can I not be romantic with these people? Romantic, woo. Romantic, bestow favor. Yeah, I realize I haven't gotten some action in a while, but I'm trying. Let's see what the market stall has. Interesting. Okay, sorry, this is too much. <laughs> Um, and like I said, I'm gonna get off stream in like three minutes. I've had a lot of fun playing this today. I do think that I want to stream it again. I, I feel like that would be really fun for us. Hey, Ninja. Yeah, we're playing Sims Medieval. I've really had quite the day today. <laughs> Come on, collect, 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 collect. Phosphorus. That's not what I need. Uh, collect, collect. Anything over here? I haven't been over here searching yet, I don't think. Discover that. Um, Ninja, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that you worked on Sims Medieval, right? Um, at least I remember you saying that before. <laughs> but I, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but we've been having a lot of fun streaming it. I think my chat will um, agree with me there. Um, it is, it is so funny. We just did the quest, um, with the queen where you get married and, like, have an heir. Um. <laughs> really something else. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. 
Um, we all wrote dialogue and made quests. That's so cool. That is really cool. Um, come on. Don't fail. I don't have a lot of materials for you, so. Sell swords and armor at village? No way. Oh, that's actually really cool. I also need to forge the badge of agriculture. I don't know how to do that. Forge badge of ag phosphorus only. That's easy. We have that stuff. No, not Ninja the Twitch streamer. <laughs> Sim Guru Ninja. <laughs> the person who works at EA. <laughs> the fact that we have to clarify this like every single time as well. That's so funny. Did you not even finish making that? Oh. Do you know what? I would love to see a Sims 4 spinoff. I don't know if they would do that these days, but I would genuinely love to see a spinoff of The Sims 4. I would love that. After a lot of hard work, we finished it. Okay, cool. Now we need to go to the town. Wait, where do I need to sell it? At the village. Path to village. Okay. Oops. Sell swords and armor. I hope I make money from this. But like a spinoff like this would be really fun. Strangerville is kind of like that. I wasn't like the biggest fan of Strangerville. I think because like it was in the game. <laughs> I feel like this this feels so much obviously more in depth than Strangerville. Um, a record profit. Oh, I made a lot of money. Oh, score. Okay. Forge the badge of training. Repair a pirate's rowboat. Oh. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that before I run out of time. I don't think I'll be doing my daily tasks today. Oopsies. Well, that's fine. Maybe I'll just go to sleep. Maybe I'll go pee, and then I'll go to sleep. <laughs> Pineapple OG, thank you for the subs. Okay, I really should get off stream soon, though. I, um, I, if you missed it, it's my dad's birthday, and I'm going to my parents' house for dinner, so I probably should leave. But I've had a lot of fun with this today. Um, as far as the rest of the week goes, uh, we'll probably play Sims Medieval again next week. Never leave us, Simsy! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know you just got here. Um, but maybe like next Tuesday we can play Sims Medieval again. It could be like a Tuesday thing for now. Do you want to play on Tuesday? I think we shall. I think that would be really fun. Um, and tomorrow we're going to play Animal Crossing. Thursday we're going to play The Sims do some building and stuff, um, but I promise we'll play on next Tuesday. I want to get further along. We have a quest unlocked now to kill the queen. <laughs> I don't want to do it yet, but that could be kind of funny. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, we'll think about it. <laughs> we'll think about killing the queen. <laughs> um, let me save my game quickly. We won't do it just yet, but we did have a baby and now we can have like an heir. We can kill the queen if we wanted to. The first time I ever played Sims Medieval, I died um, very early on in about 30 minutes of playing because when it said like dual sword fight to the death or something, I thought they were kidding, but they weren't kidding and I died. So that was not my finest moment, but like how was I to have known? That when they said that I would die, I would die. I didn't know this game yet. I didn't understand what I was getting into. Okay? <laughs> Alright, let me go see who all is live. We raided my friend Kayla yesterday. We put, should we should pick somebody else? Um, maybe Sarah Kendall, perhaps. Um, she's doing some building, it looks like, in The Sims 4, which is kind of fun. That might be a fun one to go over and raid. Um... I'm into it. I love a good Sims build stream. And again, we'll play we'll play Sims Medieval again next Tuesday, I think. That'll be really fun for us. <laughs> okay, I've had a really good day. This game is just so fun. It's so weird. It's so much fun. I love Sims Medieval. Um, and I'm glad that a lot of you like it too. I feel like it's so funny watching people come into the stream and be like, is this a mod? And I get to be like, oh no. <laughs> it's not a mod. It's a full official spin-off that really exists. <laughs> like 10 years old but it's great um and i really like getting to see people's reaction to it especially the pit you know it's just been, it's just fun also if you like the pit beast if you didn't know in the sims 4 in snowy escape you know how you can get those little simmy capsules from the vending machines in the sims 4 and there's like loads of different like iconic like little sims 
models, basically. There's, like, Lady Cordelia and a couple other, like, iconic ones. There's also a Pit Beast Simi. So your Sim can, like, get a Pit Beast Simi capsule from Snowy Escape. Um, so now you know what the Pit Beast is. Because <laughs> now you've seen this. But there is, there's like a little nod to it in The Sims 4 and Snowy Escape, which is kind of fun. All right, anyway, go say hi to Sarah for me. I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out. Um, you know, look for vending machines in The Sims 4 at your own risk. If your Sim gets smashed, it's not my fault. It's happened to the best of us. And uh, with that being said, I will catch you all tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Bye, everybody. It's kicking me off. Bye, I'll see you later. Okay, goodbye.